for the next next few few hours. hours. Nothing Nothing exists exists, 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 except except for Cleveland Cleveland High School School Sports sports. because the Quad Quad Brothers brothers are are here. Outlaw. Welcome back to the Quad Brothers Sports Show. Got my peoples in the building with me. Got the homie Eli Robinson. What up? Got the homie Reggie Logan. Yes, sir. Philly Phil will be in momentarily, running just a little bit late, so we'll check in with him when he get here. A lot of stuff going on, man. Or, um, uh, Pittsburgh, y'all, y'all couldn't get one of them three first-round picks? You couldn't get one? You couldn't get one of them, Pittsburgh? Antonio Brown is now an Oakland Raider. I mean, honestly, if there was a franchise that, that Antonio Brown was going to go to, San Francisco's that. San Francisco's not that. San Francisco too buttoned up and clean. At least he went to the Bay. You know? Yeah, the Bay, the Yay area. Oakland is Oakland is perfect for. They still somebody. Oakland or they LA now? They're Oakland, but they're going to be Las Vegas after this year. Oh, okay. So I mean, honestly, Antonio Brown first in, in Oakland with the Raiders, and when they go to Vegas, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. How old so, is AB? Thirty one. He's thirty. He's thirty now. Oh, okay. But he's still he's still very productive. Oh yeah, though. yeah. He's playing at a very high level. Very productive. Still playing at a high level. Three, four more years at high. He's oh playing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Easy. And um, so then once, so he so they he, he either either Raider they traded for him only gave up a third and a fifth for Antonio Brown, and then um, restructured his contract. Three year, fifty million dollar deal with thirty million of that guaranteed. Wow. So Antonio Brown winning right now. Winning, winning. Oakland Raiders are winning right now. Pittsburgh Steelers, you're losing. Keep losing. Yeah, I don't know what that <laughs> I don't I don't know. Kevin Colbert, I, I you're gonna need to explain that to me. You're gonna need to explain to me how you trade away Antonio Brown. And it and it seemed like it ended it really didn't end with any kind of animosity. I mean Antonio Brown actually went sat with with uh with mr rooney the, the chairman and they they talked like men and just came to the, the realization that you know what it's not gonna work i believe it's ben roethlisberger's fault too yeah it, it, it's kind of his fault too oh yeah 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 y'all can't y'all yeah y'all can't see people want to try to i saw one of my friends posted you know a picture of ben roethlisberger like well, now that we got the divas out of town let's concentrate on win another super bowl no, no, no. Ben Roethlisberger is one of the divas. Yeah. Like, let's not get it twisted. And, and let's not get it twisted. If y'all couldn't win the Super Bowl with Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, y'all are not winning one without him. No. <laughs> I mean, you know, James, what's the kid's name? Connor. James Connor. He, he all right. Nice. He nice. Uh, what's Smith, the receiver name? Juju. Smith, Smith Schuster. He all right. It's gonna be. It's going to be on Smith Schuster and Switzer and whoever else they draft. Or bring in a free agent because free agency starts in a few days, don't it? Yeah, starts in a few days. Thirteen. Oh, I'm ready. I don't know why I got this inkling. I just saw an article that said the Eagles were in the running for Le'Veon Bell. I, I don't think. I, I don't think that. it. I don't think it's well. I mean, they've made a lot of moves. They've restructured some contracts. They've got some more cap room because before the cap wouldn't allow it. I got got the, Brandon Graham back in the fold. Sorry yeah, about that, Eli. Brandon Graham. Sorry about that. I know you I heard, weren't. I heard the lady on 30 pounds overweight, too. Yeah. That's crazy. That's the door. That's crazy. 30, 30 pounds, pounds overweight. overweight. Man, he, he missed the full season. He better get back at it, he man. He better get back at it, Kev. That's nuts. 30 <laughs> pounds overweight? As a running back, you and, and the type of running back he is, he's a shifty cut. One, you know, yeah. jump step cut type of yeah. guy. You can't have an extra thirty. And, and if he's going to be the old, if he's going to be the old Le'Veon, he needs to like you know teams are going to want him to be coming out of the backfield like he was doing in Pittsburgh. Absolutely. Absolutely. What are you doing being thirty pounds overweight, bro? Not those jump step cuts with thirty pounds overweight. You're not going to be able to keep that speed when that, you cut. I'm like, what are you doing being thirty pounds overweight? Right. Philly Phil in the building was happening. Phil Phil. Get on in there. Oh, slide, slide, 
slide, slide. Yeah, I'm like, what? You 30, 30 pounds? 30 pounds. Huh? But in any event, yeah, Oakland fleeced them boys. Oakland fleeced them. I don't care. I don't. You can slice it any way. Oh, Antonio Brown is this and that. No, they got Derek Carr. Derek Carr and Derek Carr now. They basically traded Amari Cooper a third and a fifth for Antonio Brown and a one. Look, ho, ho, we couldn't give up a third and a fifth? They weren't going to trade them to us. We couldn't nah. give up a third they, and a they, fifth? They, they it's within the division. They, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they weren't going to trade. You might, maybe, maybe if you'd offer you the first if, they, if you'd offer the second, they might have listened to you. But uh, then, uh, they wouldn't. They wouldn't really try to get him to Cleveland. Oakland fleeced them. Hey, uh, maybe we. I'm. Hey, listen. Maybe we got on Chucky a little bit too soon. Maybe we started speaking a little bit too soon. Chucky seemed to be like he. Maybe he hasn't lost it like we think he lost it. Because he got yeah. still got them three number ones and Antonio Brown and still got, got his quarterback. They didn't get one of those picks, man. Listen, if I'm Kevin Colbert, look, look. Uh, uh hey, Mike, Kevin Colbert, look, I need a one. You got three of them. I need one of them. At no, least. can't do it. Okay, well, see you later. Click. Nah. You didn't get one. And one, I got to, I talked Reggie before when the show started. I think they got one that's that's in the top 10. The other ones are 24 and 27. You couldn't get one of those? Nope. No deal. They, no deal. I think they was desperate, yeah. The Raiders might have been the only team that was really interested that, that, in bringing that, them in. Once he said he wasn't playing for the Bills, I think everybody else – Man, that would have been the ultimate <laughs> fu, man. man sending him to Buffalo. I, was, I looked at my phone like, "Yo, they sending him to Buffalo." That would have been like, the oh, ultimate no. fu. That would have been Pittsburgh's ultimate fu to Antonio Brown. Look here, go ahead and take this trade to Buffalo. Take like, this Josh Allen real quick. Buffalo. Take this Josh Allen. The only thing in Buffalo. my head I could think of when I saw that trade, I was like, "Man, his his fantasy value just plummeted." Wow, like, Josh Allen, Buffalo the Bills. Buffalo, and then I seen that I seen his tweet like, no, nah, that's fake news. We don't. Don't, don't play do with me. Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah. He was getting ready to let us know, like, look, I won't show up to camp. I won't do nothing. I will never report to the Buffalo Bills. That's not gonna happen. Here's 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 my thing though. Like, if you think about that, like Pittsburgh's a blue collar town, but Buffalo is like a Come on. his his personality in Buffalo. I just don't I don't see it, man. I don't see it. Man, Buffalo. Buffalo is football side. Yeah, I don't. Who wants I, yeah. to go to Buffalo? Nobody. Come I'm on, not even gonna lie. Who wants not, to go to Oakland for real? For real? Because yeah, well, it's, 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 it's about to be Vegas, though. It's about, it's about to be Vegas. Be Vegas. Yeah. I'm just sitting there looking at the team. I'm sitting here looking at all these posts, and I'm just like, yeah, y'all got the picks, but can you hit on them? I've always we've had the picks. We've had the picks for the past twenty years. But, but, but the, I ain't on front care to John Gruen. Uh, I'm going to defend him a little bit. He knows football players. And Mike Mayock knows football players. <laughs> Mike Mayock can kiss my ass. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I'm I'm serious. I think I think Chucky, I think, Ch- well, number one, Chucky made out like a bandit in this in this deal. I mean, honestly, you you gave, you gave you got Antonio Brown, who is still a very productive receiver. Still one of the best in the, in the league, if not the best in the league. And you got him for a third and a fifth. And then you turned around and traded that guard and got the fifth back from the Jets. Mm-hmm. Gruden no know, know players. Yeah, let's, let's not forget, Gruden was the first one before the draft and said, whoever draft Pat Mahomes, is gonna, he going to be the steal of the draft. And look at Pat Mahomes now. Yeah. John Gruden said he was the steal of the draft. I, I, and and the, the fact that they – because when, that, when, that, when, that, when it first broke – the report was that they gave up a second for Antonio Brown. That's what I thought. That was the, when the report mm. broke. In terms of that it was a third and a fifth, it's like, wait a minute. What? They had three. They got four of the t- first 35 picks in Pittsburgh. You didn't get any of those picks? You didn't even get the second? Kevin Colbert, what are you doing? I know you didn't really have a lot of leverage, but you got you still got to stand short. Like, listen, man, okay, I'm going to I'm, I'm need that second. I got to have it, man. This is Antonio Brown. Oakland was on the phone, Kev. They said, look. We're not giving up no number one picks. I already talked to the other uh, general managers around the league. Nobody else wants to trade with y'all. This is all we got for That's you. It. Because really, <laughs> really, and in, in, in quite honestly, in their mind, and as much as I support AB and what, you know what I'm saying, whatever you need as far as whatever the situation is between him and Ben Roethlisberger, which I think, you know, they, there's been an onus placed on Antonio Brown and not enough. We just said, yeah. yeah. Uh, leeway, said, yep. not enough information, not yeah. enough 
blame being torned, pointed towards Ben Roethlisberger. But who wants to deal with that? Like, like, be honest. Be honest with yourself. Like, when it, in my head, in the back of my mind, when all these rumors were about the Browns and Odell was floating around, I heard some stuff about maybe Anton. I was like, I don't want A.B. I don't want that. I don't want that headache in my locker room. We got to see what he look like outside of Ben, I mean, though. yeah. Because we, we, we got numerous videos of Ben on the camera throwing Antonio Brown under the bus where you could have handled that. We can we can handle this behind closed doors. Like Bruh, I'm gonna need Antonio Brown to run a different, better route. That's like, what, what, you, wait, what? You can't do that. What you talking you, you can, about? You, you cannot do that. I'm I'm I told I told him Phil. I, I was telling him when right when the show started. A friend of mine posted this. She's a Steelers fan. She posted this this uh, meme on her wall. I said okay. It said now that the Divas are out. It was a picture of Ben Roethlisberger. Now that the Divas are out of town, we can concentrate and win a Super Bowl. I'm like, no, he is one of the Divas. Yes. He's one of the Divas. Yes. And then all of this talk about, well, Ben Roethlisberger made Antonio Brown. No, no you you didn't it. make me. You didn't make me. I came from the sixth round. Come bruh, on. Please. Stop you it. definitely didn't make you me. You didn't make I me. I came from Central Michigan. <laughs> yeah. bruh, I've, been, bruh. I've been working quite hard at hold my craft. I got mines out the mud. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hold up. Hold up for a second. The Raiders are picking fourth. Yeah. Can you imagine? I'm just setting it up. Now they got Derek Carr. They got Derek Carr, who, who honestly, I think Derek Carr is still a good quarterback. I still think Derek Carr is a good quarterback. I do, too. You got Antonio Brown. What if D.K. Metcalf is sitting there at four? You got D.K. Metcalf, who 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 was faster than Devin Hester in the combine, and he's 6'3 and 200-something pounds, stronger than Trent Williams, I, jumps higher than Odell. I, I just feel like he got busts written all over him. I don't I know why. Might. I don't know David, why. You think got David just, Boston written all over much. him? It's too much. I don't <laughs> know what it is. It's just like it's something something that's just I'm so just iffy. I'm just yeah, like. That's why I'm not but, about me. <laughs> but they could also they could also go off into They're picking fourth, 24th, and 27th in the first round. They're going to get some, get some, they're gonna get some football players. players. They're going to get some good football get players. Pass rusher. You're still going to be in third place, though. And that, you think so? Yeah, in their division, yes. Nah, yes, well, yes. Well, it depends on Kansas City. How Kansas City come back? Right, because K- Kansas City ain't there. They're losing K- people too. Kansas they signed Carlos Hyde, but eh. you got who, what teams? Kansas City, Denver, Denver Oakland, San Diego, and San Diego. Oh yeah, that's well, a tough LA. division. Yeah, that's a t- yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm mean, right, LA, not, not oh, San Diego, LA. Sorry, it's the it. other LA team. Yeah, other I LA forgot team. about that. That's a tough division. That's a very tough division. It's going to be really tough, but. They can make it. They can at least make some noise. Pardon me. They can at least make some noise. They can get one. They can split with Kansas City. They can split with San Diego. Denver. They should sweep Denver. Well, I don't know. They, they, Denver. Nah, Denver is, trash. Denver trash. Joe Flacco. Come on. Now. Come on. Come on, man. Joe Flacco. <laughs> Joe Flacco is over the hill. Their best offensive now. player is that running back, the rookie that they had Phillip this year. Lindsey. Lindsey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I like Philip Lindsey. Yeah, Lindsey. That's that's their best. I'm just saying, if they can hit on at least two of these first rounders, they'll be competitive. They're good, they man. Need, they need to fill that void where Cleo Mack. <laughs> Who's the kid? Pick Justin Houston up. No, no. There's another kid from thirty years old. Right? Isn't there another linebacker that. from Kentucky that's coming out? Another another linebacker from Kentucky. Uh, I can't remember. I can't. Name. Yeah, it, there's there's a, there's a linebacker from Kentucky coming out. He's one of the top prospects, and he's a really good. He, there's people saying he's top ten. You can grab him. I'm just, I'm just saying, I think the Raiders are setting themselves up. I'm not – look, man, Mike Mayock is making the calls now in the office. No, people – hey. No, don't sleep on Mike Mayock. Hey. <laughs> Somehow Mike Mayock got Antonio Brown and didn't have to give up any one of those first four picks. So you think Mike? You think Mike Mayock is making the picks or is John Gruden making the picks? Mike, I think Mike, Mike Mayock – I, I think Mike Mayock is making the picks. And, it, and that's how it needs to be. John Gruden, listen <laughs> – John Gruden can have input, but it needs to be Mayock's decision. We see what ha- we saw it here when Holmgren was here. When a coach is trying to be the GM too, it never works. It's gonna drive you crazy, man. It's too it much. It never work. works. It's too much work. Let Mayock make those. That way, listen. If it if it if it fails, you can put that's on Mayock. I'm not making the decision. Don't blame me. That's Mayock. Don't talk about my scheme. The, kid, the nope. kid can't play football. The kid, the kid can't play football. And may I <laughs> draft him. That's what happened. Look, what I, I, I always use this example. When Mike Holmgren first got to Seattle, he was coach and GM. And Seattle finished 8-8 eight eight like three years in a row. 
the year, the first year that they said, okay, Mike, you know what? Just coach. We're going to bring in a, a, a GM. They went to the Super Bowl. They went like 11 to 5. Sean Allen had they, like 1,700 rushing yards. It was some crazy. It was crazy. And and they, and they got beat by rookie Ben Roethlisberger with Jerome Bettis yeah. and all that kind of stuff. That was the one in Detroit. But that was Mike Holmgren's first year in Seattle just being the coach. Yeah. It never works. The, the two – the only time it works is in, in New England. It seems to be the only place that it works because Belichick does both. He's just mm-hmm. obsessive. He's, He's a genius. A genius. Uh, He's a obsessive genius. Obsessive genius. I'm just looking at this draft order, man, and I'm like, it, 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 it's some teams out here, man, that can really do themselves well. Arizona, listen, this should, Arizona, just take Kyler Murray. Just take him. And and and, Wait, and number one, Charlie. Number one Ka- yes, Rosen yes, a, Rosen a bum. Yes, e, Rosen is terrible. He's Rosen will be no, 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 no. He's not a bum. He's not a bum. He needs to get out of Arizona and start quickly, over again. Quickly, he's Run. not a bum. Run. Uh, I ain't the like Card- what I'm the Cardinals' the offensive year. line was like what twenty eighth, twenty ninth in the league. David they didn't Johnson have David was Johnson. trash. Larry Fitzgerald is way past Old. his prime. I agree. So with you that. don't pick coaching uh, staff is Nick trash. Bosa with the number one no, overall No, no. You you need a quarterback. You take Kyler Murray. You take Kyler Murray. And 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 Charlie Charlie Cashley, that report you put out was whack, man. Yeah, you, who that listens was, to yeah, Charlie that, that was whack, Charlie. Charlie trying to assassinate this young man's uh character already. Nah. Stop doing it. I like and I like Charlie Cash. Charlie Cashley usually gives good 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 analysis. That's not a surprise. Uh, and, I was waiting for it. And, and Stop like, it, Charlie. And like we said, uh Oklahoma may be uh, a nesting feed for quarterbacks because they run a pro style open spread uh offense. So we see that translate well to the NFL. Cliff Kingsbury can talk all that. Josh Rosen is our guy. Man, you better take Kyler Murray at number one. Yeah. He ain't going to number one. You don't yes, think so? Is. I no. think he yes, is. He is. No. Who, yes, who, who he is. Who else, who else gonna, you going to take number one overall? Nick Bosa. Bosa's not going to help you. You need a quarterback, man. You need a quarterback. We all know it starts with the quarterback, man. Look how long think, the Cleveland think, Browns were trash. I think – I, I, here's here's the thing. <laughs> I, I think, and, and again, I, I don't I don't think Josh Rosen is a bum. I think Josh Rosen can be a good quarterback in this league, but he needs to get out of Arizona. And I don't think Cliff Kingsbury, no matter what he, I don't think Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury likes Josh okay, Rosen's where, style of play. Go? Where is he gonna go? Cincinnati Bengals, New York Giants, Denver Broncos, Denver Broncos. I mean, I think. That there is a market out there for it. They've already said at least four or five teams have called the Cardinals asking about Josh Rosen's availability. There are teams out there that think the same way that we think that Josh Rosen is not a bum. Josh Rosen was in a terrible situation. He had what? At least two coordinators this year? Yeah. That's a bad situation for a rookie quarterback. I personally think he trash. I know on FanDuel, every time a team <laughs> played the Cardinals, I picked their defense. <laughs> 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 but I, I think because honestly, I, I think that I think that Josh Rosen would be well served in a place. I don't know about New York, man, because th- that New York media will eat you alive, man, if you're not on point. But somewhere like a Denver, Cincinnati for sure, they got to be tired of Andy Dalton out there. Nah, I think they're gonna give him one oh more year. Oh my god, he got one more. What's year. It with him and Marvin Lewis, man? I'm like Cincinnati. What is the deal? Who was their coach now? Uh no the Rams the the guy who was a Rams offensive coordinator last year oh okay. god oh. he's their he's their coach or not their coordinator their, he was their quarterbacks coach I think he was the Rams quarterbacks okay. coach so you get him you get Josh Rosen in there Cincinnati would be a perfect place for him you can go there the expectations will be low Jacksonville no nah, Jacksonville gonna Jacksonville sign Nick Foles, Foles quick they, 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 they Foles good quick. they good they what, did they, what did they even sign Nick Foles yes. They, that's yes, yeah. I, I, I as a matter, I'm guaranteeing it. <laughs> this week, Nick Foles will be a Jacksonville Jaguar. I, you you heard it here, not first. You just heard it here, because that's what everybody said. I, I guarantee he can it. Be a backup man, Philly. No, he's not. Who he's wants not Blake backup. Bortles? Exactly. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get another job somewhere. Who Where? wants Blake Bortles? Holding a damn clipboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's somewhere. that's the only place. I mean, Denver. Denver is terrible with quarterbacks. And what is with and what is with Washington? Case Keen, this that's classic Washington. Case Keenum? Come on, man. I can see Josh Rosen going there. That's probably Washington. That's probably yeah. his best place. I so can see go. that too. At least they got weapons. Mm-hmm. I can see Keenum that. Keenum was serviceable, better than they uh, the alternative. What was they going to do? Roll with Colt McCoy? 
Ew. Yeah, that's yeah. they. That that was their backup. Case Keenum. That was their backup plan. Colt McCoy. But they give a, a six and a seven for Case Keenum. I believe so. Yikes, that's too much. You got to take this seventh rounder and I like that. Like it. But no, I, Nick Bosa's not going up. Nick Nick Bosa's going to be in San Francisco with DeForest Buckner and that, and they're going to be out there wrecking shop out there. That's why you need a quarterback like Kyler Murray. Because San Francisco is going to get Nick Bosa and have DeForest Buckner out there, and those two are going to be chasing down quarterbacks. You need a quarterback like Kyler Murray. I think Kyler Murray fits what Cliff Kingsbury wants to do in Arizona. Remember, Cliff Kingsbury was a quarterback at Texas Tech, and all they did was throw the football, and, and, and they moved at a fast pace, fast pace, fast pace. Kyler Murray is a quarterback that can fit exactly what Cliff Kingsbury wants to do out there in Arizona. Cliff, it ain't hard, bro. It's it's kind of difficult to hear Cliff Kingsbury as an NFL coach. Especially after he really failed at Texas Tech. He didn't do anything at Texas Tech. He moved so quickly. He didn't, get a, he didn't get one season in at USC. That was it. Yeah, because he left, he left. He got fired from Texas Tech, went to USC, was there, what, offensive coordinator or quarterback mm-hmm. coach at yep. USC, and then got the Arizona job. You talk about lucky. How you go from failing at Texas Tech to being at USC for a few for about half season to getting an NFL head coaching job? They're gonna have the number one overall pick next year. Everybody think they getting the next Sean McVay. That's the yeah. The all, young coaches are getting ready to be the rage. No, you're not. You're gonna be seeing more 32, 33, 34 year old head coaches in the NFL. But, I they mean, got Sean, the energy. Sean yeah. McVay had an excellent start. He started with John Gruden, for God's sake. Well, hey. You're gonna you're gonna see that a lot. You're gonna see a lot of these young and upcoming coordinators, either in college or in the pros, getting head coaching jobs. He still got out coached in the Super Bowl. He did. He got who he embarrassed. Did. But he's going up against the Masters. So. Yeah, he's going up against Sunset. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> he's going up against the Masters. So hey, oh man, it is what it is. But I, I, I think with the Raiders sitting there at number four, I mean, they can go a bunch of different ways. You could shore up that offensive line and make sure Derek Carr stay off of his back. You could get DK Metcalf. You could go defense, get yourself a pass rusher to replace Khalil Mack, like Eli said. You can go a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different ways. And you got two more picks at the end of the first round. You said the Raiders are number four. Four, yes. 24, and 27. Yes, I can sir. see them getting Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa's not getting past San Francisco 49ers. That's, I mean, he's They're not, not getting yeah. past two. Yeah. He's Flat not getting out. past they 49ers. Not get he past ain't going to drop the four. They he not get, he not he, getting he, past he go on, two. He going one or two. He not getting past yeah. two. Or you get Quinn Williams from uh, Alabama. Could, now, now, him I can see. I can see Quinn and Williams. Y'all better do something because y'all didn't have not, no type of pass rush None. last year. I think they had like 13 sacks last year. It, or or would have. would have. That's why Gruden collected that uh, extra first-round pick, trade up, and, and, and take on the second pick overall and get Nick Bosa. Could be. I can see that. I can see it too. <laughs> Trade four and twenty four. Yeah, I can see go that. Get Nick Bosa. Well, I, I can see Gruden. Yeah, up, I can see Gruden asking. I don't see San Francisco. Accepting. San Francisco might just hang up on you. I like, think nah, San. Fr- I think San Francisco is locked in on Nick Bosa. You think so? And and his combine was great. He had a great combine. And they went. And again, if they put him and DeForest Buckner out there, it's going to be a problem for people playing San Francisco. Those two. Bosa got the pedigree, and I think San Francisco is set on it. The Jets. What are the Jets? Two number two? Three. Three. Number three. And they need everything. They need everything. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, need to, they, need to, they need to protect Sam Donald, so they may go offensive line. There's some offensive linemen out there that are worthy of the top three picks. This defensive line and offensive line draft is, is outstanding. It's, it, like it, it's like deep. That. That's why the Raiders are sitting pretty, man. You got three first round. You got four the top 35 picks. That's why I'm happy. I'm kind of happy we at where we at seventeen. Yeah. I'm I happy. think Metcalf may be there at seventeen. Nah, he ain't gonna be there. At you 17. know who else might? You know who really might? Who might be there at seventeen? Though that, that the Browns, I would take if I was them. Greedy Williams. Yes. Yes. I like. Yes. That. If yes. he's there at seventeen, you put Greedy Williams on one side and you got uh, Ward on the other Ward. side like with that, that defensive line. With that defensive we ain't line. gotta have no blitz to put pressure. Come on, man. Oh, it's on. Come on, it's man. on. I'm telling Come on, you, man. I'm telling you. We either with that seventeen pick, we either I I like that either cornerback, outside linebacker, or left tackle. Left tackle. If there's the a left tackle, I mean there's a, there's a few good left tackles in this in this draft. So if there's one that maybe slips, 
because you know you, that usually happens every year somebody slips. So if there's one that 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 slips, that's a that's a top talent, and he's there at 17. I would go ahead. I would take that first. Mm-hmm. I would got, take that. Got first. to protect. Uh, Especially, the man especially since uh, which McCall it. We done traded our guard, and we got yeah. that. What's the rookie? What's the rookie name? Colbert. Yeah, Colbert? yeah. we got to protect Bagley blind yeah. side, man. Yeah, That's his blind I, I side. think we need to go tackle. <laughs> I think we need to go tackle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because that's I need I need Baker protected all year I'm long. To tell all you. year long. Man, listen, it it this draft is going to be this this season this upcoming season is going to be very interesting. Yes, I got my is. money saved up now. I don't know about y'all. I'm going to let y'all know now. I'm going to be calling y'all almost every weekend because my barber, he get the, he get the hookups. I'm going to be calling y'all like, yo. y'all With the Browns guys? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm we down there. Right. I'm down there this season. Yes, I sir. can finally spend some money on the Browns. And it, yes. and it, and it be and have it be worth it. Right. right. All right, man. So we're going to take our first break. We'll come back. We'll talk some Browns draft some more. We're going to talk LeBron, too. Yes. We're I'm getting ready to dog everybody. Yeah, we get ready. we definitely going to talk LeBron. So we'll talk a lot. We'll talk all that, man. We'll come back. Hey, real quick, man. Shout out to the East Lake North girls. They took the L against Glen Oak uh, on Friday, 46-41. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Glen Oak got him, man, in the regional. So, oh, so man, shout out, man, to Coach Force, weird. man, and and, uh, and and East Lake North girls, man. We ride with y'all. You know how it is. Uh, all right, man. We'll come back. Eli's name of the song. Uh, the name of the song is called Hurricane by Serious Beats. This is the Quad Brothers Sports Show on One Unit Media Network. The Quad? Yep. All right, welcome back to the show. Laker fan, you're pathetic. That was the most. That was the most pitiful. Look, I know it was for his place, but he passed Jordan. Come on, Laker fan. That, 
That was the most. Cleveland would have been lit, man. Yeah, would have been lit. Cleveland would have been lit. I think. I think it'd have been a better uh, celebration had they won the game. Yeah, like better, if they was winning or if the they game. Had a better season, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think so. You don't think so? No. They are the most. They're the Lakers. They're they fair weather. Are so it's not. So even who do you think worse, the, Miami or the Lakers fans? Lakers, Lakers fans. Oh, Lakers fans. Lakers Miami, fans. Miami fans don't show up the second quarter though. Lakers, Lakers fans. fans do the same thing. <laughs> do you know why? Do you know why I say Lakers fans? Because Lakers fans have two factions. There are Lakers fans, and then there are Kobe fans, and they all have seen to join together to hate on LeBron. Just a few games before, they were chanting, "We want Kobe." Are yeah. you serious, Lakers yeah. fan? And let me just let me just. Go off to the side for world one quick second. ESPN. Ain't nobody fool. You see that picture ESPN put up? The top four scores in NBA history. Had them all all in Lakers Lakers uniforms. Don't nobody. Ain't nobody. Man. Carl Malone. Carl Malone. (laughs) Nobody remember Carl Malone playing for the Lakers. Stop it, ESPN. People say, well, they might not remember LeBron. I bet you they remember LeBron more than than Carl Malone. Carl Malone had one season and he was there for like. Stop it, He was 37. Yeah. He was there. He was every bit of 37. Yeah. People going to remember, if I was a Utah Jazz fan, I'd be pissed. Right. Nobody remember Carl Malone as a Laker. Stop Let that, man. Like that. Let me post Brian, you should have just stayed home, man. Let me post this question. You should have just stayed home, I man. I told him that. <laughs> I told him that. <laughs> go ahead, he, 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 he was on. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Quick. Let me post this question. I, mean, I was thinking about this all week long. Yes. I think LeBron James needs to retire. Right now? Right nah. Now. Nah. Nope. Nope. The uh, only reason why I say this mm. is. I don't think his head is in basketball right now. Uh, I can agree with you on that. But this season is a one-off. For, for I, can, I can agree with you on that. And I think Brown bounces back next year. This season I, is a one-off. But, I mean, who are the Lakers going to get next year? They're going to they have a lot of money. They're they going to have a lot of who money. Who's going to come play with him, who though? Who's going to come play with him? I mean, he's about to be 35. I mean, you know, Kawhi, Kawhi already said he don't want to yeah, come but, play but with him. We knew that, though, didn't we? Did we, we knew that. We knew and, yeah, we knew and that. I don't think Kyrie would want to come play you with sure him. sure about I that? Know. I think they might have repaired their relationship. You sure about that? Kyrie, now nah, he a great teammate. He a great leader nah, and all this other kind of stuff. Are you sure about that? I don't really think he I think the main person he was depending to come play with him for the Lakers was Paul George. And Paul George stayed with the OKC. That was the first option, I believe. Everybody thought they was going to pair up in L.A. Here, here's here's my, my – honestly, I, I'll, I'll agree with, with, with Eli on the fact that LeBron's head <coughs> – pardon me, LeBron's head might not be fully into basketball right now. He just got to L.A. He's trying to work out some Hollywood thing. You know, his son playing basketball. So his head might not be fully into the Lakers. But I, I think – number one, I think Luke, Luke Walton's getting fired after this year. Oh yeah, that's a yeah, that's uh, that's a given. And Magic Johnson on the hot seat too. You can't. I mean, you got to go all the way in. Nah, Magic, Magic what, can't go nah, on no way. But what is you doing though, Magic? He ain't got, but he's he, he Magic can't do though. nothing. His Magic is good. What are you doing though? Why he did you put this roster together? He can't do nothing. I don't know why they put this roster <laughs> together. <laughs> I, I don't under, the, the formula with LeBron that has always worked is surround to him surround with him with shooters. Yep. Surround him with snipers. I don't snipers. understand. I, when when the season began and they said they weren't going to surround LeBron with shooters, they were going to surround him with playmakers. I was it just don't like, make that sense. That don't make any sense at all whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And you see that right now. You saw it throughout the season. They literally could not hit an open three to save their life. That's it the was thing. Terrible. I was cool with the Ray John Rondo pickup. That's mm-hmm. the other playmaker you need. But Lance Stevenson, no, no. Javale McGee, no, no. hell no. Chance and Tyler, no. no. Uh, Michael, Michael Beasley, Beasley, no, no. no. Get rid of these dudes and get shooters. Maybe even Lonzo Ball, because Lonzo Ball can't shoot either. I don't. I, he, he. <laughs> Here, here's but another. But, but, okay, one more, one more thing, real quick. Keep in mind as, as well, this is the first year that LeBron missed any kind of significant time with an injury. Crazy. This is the first year out of 16 he had that hamstring injury. He missed, what, 18, 20 games? So, I mean, it was just a whole myriad of things. And, I, I me, I, go, go ahead, Phil. I just say I think it's a one-off. I think it's a one-off. Go ahead, Phil. Sorry. So what? I think the season is a one-off. Like, like you know, just chalk it up as a, as a loss season, but I don't think this means LeBron is declining or anything like that. I think LeBron is going to bounce back and have a good year next year. That's just me. Well, number one, this is going to be his longest offseason mm. in mm. God so, knows since how 2004, long. 2005. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. not going to make the playoffs. So right. he's, di- he's literally going to be done in April. When was the last time LeBron was done Since in 2004, April? So from yeah. April to oh, October, yeah. he has those months to, to heal up and get... No, LeBron's not done. LeBron no, will be saying. 
perfectly fine. I don't understand this whole decline. We know that he's not injured, and he's basically putting up a triple-double. He's averaging like 27, 8, and 8 since he got back. LeBron is doing what LeBron does. The fact of the matter is, Laker fans, your team is garbage. It was garbage last year. It was garbage before. This is what I don't understand. It was garbage before he got there. There was a reason why you guys have not made the playoffs in five consecutive years. I don't understand what they thought. They they keep overhyping these kids, and as much as I, I don't like to hate on kids, but when you trash, you trash. You Ingram has been in the league for I don't know how many years, at least three or four. Three or four. He's he's not even averaging twenty points a game for his career. Neither is Kuzma. Lonzo Ball is cool, but it, it, it's yeah. on the defensive side. Yeah. Everything else about his game is just eh. It's just eh. And, and, so and, I don't. I don't know what exactly they expected. And and the crazy thing is, when LeBron was healthy, they were in fourth place in yeah. the West. I fourth. Think, I, I, I have a theory as to what happened. They they thought that they looked at the at the teams he went to in Cleveland. When he got here in 2014, the, the, the 2013 team was absolute garbage. And then LeBron got here and they went to the finals. And then he and then the team last year, that team last year was was pretty bad too, but they still got to the finals. But what they don't look at is just like you said earlier, Phil, those Cavs teams had shooters. Yeah, mm-hmm. J.R. Smith, Kyle Korver, Kyle, Kyle Korver, uh, Kevin Love, Kevin even Love. They don't Channing have. Fry. They don't have. Yeah, we, they don't have shooters on that team. We might have been terrible as a individually collective talent, but together, if that team got hot. We got that team, was, yeah. that team would literally shoot the lights out, and yep. next thing you know, the score is like one twenty-two to eighty-six. Yep. Because people, like you said, people fail to realize how good of a shooter Kevin Kevin Love might be the best big sh- big shoot big shooting man in the league. I mean, and, and, true, and, true. and that's what the Lakers <laughs> the Lakers don't have that they don't have. But besides Rondo, they don't have shooters. They got wait, there's wait, a difference. I, wait, you can wait, shoot no, and not, not be a shooter. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't have guys that can step back behind that line and just. No, nah, Rondo can't shoot neither. They all can't shoot. That's well, the purpose. They all cannot shoot. Not, not so then, any of them have a and consistent. The only one that can shoot pretty decent. I, I, I'm saying decent. Caldwell Pope. He's the only yeah. one. Yep. Which is why Magic <laughs> is like, nah, we're not trading. <laughs> that and, and so that is there's the issue too, which for some reason because I don't really think they're real knowledgeable basketball fans. Laker fans don't understand that. Like, I think they just thought that LeBron would just be dropped on the roster and all of a sudden they're going to be fighting with the Warriors for the Western Conference title. No. Y'all got Snoop Dogg. Oh, he got, y'all got Snoop. Like, yeah, Snoop trying pissed. to give away his tickets. Snoop. That's what's up. If I was in L.A., I'd be hitting Snoop up every day. Snoop was over the tickets. Let me get them said, man, give LeBron tickets. some help, but, damn it. But, <laughs> LeBron, you, you, it's, it's still blame go your way, oh, yeah, too. Yeah. You chose to go to L.A. Yep. And... The efforts you putting up defensively out there, I, I can understand I'm his not, teammates I, being yeah, mad. Yeah, I'm that. not gonna come on. That, that come was on. like I'm not gonna. That he's that's not that's not like a steady thing that he has done all season. I'm not gonna. Number no, one, wait, number we one. It, 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 we in the heat in the middle of a game that we need, and you just stand in the paint and let your man shoot the ball. N- number one, his head ain't ain't in L.A. because you know what what the obligations were. He he. I think he decided to go to L.A. when Dan Gilbert decided not to bring David Griffin back. I, I think as soon as David Griffin wasn't coming back, he knew he was mm-hmm. leaving. I think he went to L.A. because he wanted to get Bronny away from this situation. Yep. You, as, as much <laughs> as you would like for him to go to St. Vincent, St. Mary, you can't nah. send Bronny to St. Vincent, nah. St. Mary. I feel you. That'd be bad. Do that. I feel you, but it's the, it go back to the Ben Rothler's burger thing. You got to hold yourself accountable, too. If Absolutely. you mess yeah. out here messing up, yeah. you out here messing up. Yeah. And, you feel me? And then you throwing me under the bus, but you got you messing up, too. But we all mess up. But here's And here's where people throw things out of proposal, and we're going to get to the stands in just a second. But here's how, <laughs> here's how it worth it. people throw things out of – I blow things out of proportion. The play, oh, Kyle Kuzma had to push it. No, he didn't. Watch the video. LeBron is on – LeBron Kuzma's on the dude. The, the, whoever I don't even remember who it was. The guy starts to move over. LeBron starts to move with him, but Kuzma's Kuzma supposed pushed to be him, going. Kuz, yeah, right. Because but but LeBron, it was almost like I don't know if it was instinctively. LeBron just like I'm going to go with him. Maybe not realize thinking his head. Hey, that's Kuzma's guy. That's not my guy. That's Kuzma's guy. And Kuzma's trying to get over there with him too. 
But LeBron is in the way because the guy kind of hesitated. So LeBron is in the way. So Kuzma's trying to get to his guy, and he runs into LeBron. It ain't like LeBron was like, he was like, LeBron, get out of my way. Hey, Kev, I, I love you. <laughs> LeBron ain't playing no defense. Ain't playing. I'm, I'm <laughs> not going to let y'all know what he it ain't. is. He I'm going to let y'all defense, know what man. it is. I, here's the thing. I know he ain't. Number one, he's injured. I don't care what anybody says. LeBron James is not 100% healthy right no. now. Number two, you you. Let's be real. I don't understand what version of LeBron y'all thought y'all was getting. Yeah, I really this don't. This if y'all really thought LeBron. y'all was getting back, what was it? When was the last time he made first team all defense? Never. Two thousand twelve. No, he never made yes, one. Well, yeah, when he, he was in Miami, he made the defensive made team uh, in two thousand and twelve. Those those Who beginning years, the first years he were here, and those prime years in Miami, he was a defensive force. This man, when he got back here, wasn't playing nah, defense. He wasn't. And we know that. Yeah. And we know that. I don't understand what y'all thought y'all were getting. Y'all thought y'all were getting the two-way defensive star of LeBron? No, that's it. Second of all, we all have seen this man take off plays. I don't know if Laker fans <laughs> don't pay attention to ESPN <laughs> or they don't have Twitter or, or whatever the case may be, your excuse is not the fact that he was playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers and you haven't seen the Cavalier game. It's been on Twitter. It's been on Instagram. It's been on Facebook. LeBron James has not gave 100% defensive effort while he was here. So you really mean to think that he's going to give you 100% effort in a team that he knows is not going anywhere? This man is coasting, and I understand why he's coasting. I'm 30, what, 34, 35? Man, I'm not about to be out here giving myself 100% to this team right now. We we tanking. It's over with. Season is done. So I I don't want to put majority of the blame on him for that because I, I understand it. But you knew what you, what was, you getting was getting into. when you got LeBron. So don't sit on – come sit by me. Don't go sit on the end of the bench. You I, knew we was trash. Keep, you I, knew we was trash. I tell, I tell people <laughs> that all the time. I'm just like, why are you surprised? You, you didn't know LeBron was like this? You didn't know LeBron brought a certain amount of drama with him every which way he went. You thought it was going to be different somehow. Why? Because you're the Lakers? It was going to be anything. It was going to be magnified. So I just – I. I don't understand Laker fans. I don't really hold on now, and like we, we need to, we need to get we we need to get LeBron James more props. LeBron James was all defensive first team in two thousand nine, two thousand ten, yes, two thousand eleven, yes, two thousand twelve, yes, and two thousand thirteen, yes. So for five about for five, five oh, years, I he was five years, yeah, yeah. he was absolutely. You don't remember? So what was that? That was the last two years in in Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. Last two years in Cleveland, and, and then you don't rem- you the don't first three LeBron, years in Miami. How? complete his game was those three years in Miami. That's yeah. the first if, couple if years. Anything, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. that's why everybody was so pissed when he left because he was doing everything that we wanted him to do. He was down on the blocks in Miami. He had a jump shot in Miami. So we'll just, Dude was balling. So and, and we'll just go over the whole team. So in 09, it was all defensive first team was Kobe, KG, LeBron, Dwight Howard, and Chris Paul. Dwight 2010, Howard. it was Kobe, Gerald Wallace, LeBron, Dwight Gerald Wallace, yeah. Gerald Wallace, yeah, LeBron, yeah. You Dwight Gerald Howard. Wallace, Man. yeah, Gerald Wallace, Kobe. In 2010, it was Kobe, Gerald Wallace, LeBron, Dwight Howard, and Rondo. Uh, 2011, Kobe, KG, LeBron, Kobe Dwight and Howard, and Rondo again. Kobe don't play about that. Either. Yeah, <laughs> Kobe will lock you down. Kobe 2012, don't play. 2012, it was LeBron, Tony Allen, Dwight Howard, Chris Paul, and Serge Ibaka. And then 2013, the last year, he was all defensive first team. Tyson Chandler, LeBron, Tony Allen, Chris Paul, Joe Kim Noah, and Serge Ibaka. So those were all defensive. So from 2000, between 2009 and 2013, every year, he was all defensive first team. So I don't care. That, 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 it really pissed me off that night. It so pissed me off. You know what night. made me mad, though, about that push thing? LeBron, call timeout. Tell Kyle Kuzma go get on the bench. Don't you ever put your hands on me again. You don't. You don't, you don't. I, ain't, I ain't even see the <laughs> Time off. You out the game, man. man when, when I saw that footage, I was like, yo, he really did. Just put like, man, get on Come defense, on, man. man. Can you imagine Kyle Kuzma trying to push Kobe Bryant? Oh, uh, Kobe Bryant right. would have smacked him. <laughs> but, but it goes. Time out. Time, time out. But that here. goes back to Come what here. we say. I don't think these young boys look at LeBron man, like that. They, no, that was don't. disrespectful to me. It was, though. So now let's get to the other side of the story. Oh, boy. 
Michael Jordan groupies. And I and I and I say that with everything in my heart. Michael Jordan groupies. No, oh, there's no oh, LeBron and somebody somebody LeBron's not even in the same converse. LeBron's nowhere near Jordan and Kobe. Are you crazy? Do these people think do these people like I hate these people, I mean, man. I, I use that a word a little bit loosely. Era. I mean, I'm, it was a different era. It don't matter what era, man. Michael, uh, LeBron James is a top three player of all time. Of all hands time. Down. Now, ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. He's but a top these, three player of all time. But these Jordan groupies, man, they look at Ed, Skip Bayless included, Rob Parker included. They look at they look at LeBron and they try to. I'm, I, I don't I don't get this, man. I just. They spend all this time taking a dump on LeBron to prop up Michael, and it's like you gotta appreciate what LeBron doing. I mean, if you honestly, if you are a basketball, Thir- thirty four thousand points. If you're somebody like Phil and you love the game of basketball, but you hate on LeBron so much that you won't allow yourself to appreciate what you're witnessing, I feel sorry for you. I just don't. I don't understand what exactly you are going to do when that person when that person comes along and they have the rings they have the 33,000 points because at a certain point in time there's going to be a person where we all consider like yo this dude this dude is, is better than Jordan this dude is better. It's it's going to happen at some point in time. Now I'm not I saying. I don't know. I'm not. Saying, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it has to. Uh, it uh, has I to. don't know, man. It has to. I don't know, Phil. You mean to tell me LeBron can be that guy? I don't, I don't know. You mean to I, tell me if LeBron James has six rings right now, he'd be he'd, he'd have passed him. Okay, then. but it's it's it, you got that resume got to be all the way. Michael Jordan made his resume. But, but can we can we do this though? And I and I, I made this point on my Facebook. But can we do this? Can we put things into context here? Here's what I hate about Jordan stands. They make it seem like Michael Jordan single handedly won every ring by himself. That's a bunch of bull. Number oh. one, he had the greatest coach in the history of the game, not named Red Auerbach. And he had he, the best lockdown defender on this he, team. And yeah, and he he had one of the, one of the NBA's fifty greatest players on his team for every single championship. He had undoubtedly the best rebounder this game has ever seen mm-hmm. in Dennis Rodman for three of those championships. In two of those series, he didn't even hit the series clinch, clinching shot. Paxson hit a series clinching shot and won. Kerr hit one in the other. It was his assist, though. I don't make any difference. <laughs> it was his assist, It don't make though. any difference. It was, he was attached to the play, though. It's not an assist if they don't make the shot. They made it. I, I, yeah, they had to make the shot. So, let, I'm just saying, let's let's stop acting like Jordan did everything by him. Jordan had a hell of a he, lot of help. He, he had a help. He had but a let help. LeBron ask him today, oh, look, LeBron needs help again. You damn right. He got to beat Golden State. You damn right he need help. The, the one thing that I don't understand is the, the whole notion that it was all Michael Jordan by itself. That's crazy. Do some, when do y'all do this up for me? Because the, the my my uh my he laptop had is Phil down. Ja- pull up one the, pull up the Bulls record, team record between ninety and ninety eight. Just pull up the. They team was winning record. sixty plus games. They was year. winning sixty plus games a year. Yeah, even you when don't, you don't play on the greatest regular season team or the greatest team that some people would call it in NBA history by going seven was it seventy two and ten mm-hmm. by just having Michael Jordan and a bunch it's, of scrubs out it's there. Crazy I'm so, to me. You can't have it both ways. It's that crazy doesn't make any me. sense. You said between what? Ninety and ninety and ninety eight. And 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 even when Michael quote unquote retired or maybe forced out by gambling, I don't know. That's the that's the story. They still even won when he retired, they went from games. fifty-seven they ain't, they ain't to win fifty. Nothing, they ain't don't win matter. Nothing, they only so lost two matter. more games. They 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 won six championships. They got six championships on their resume. He was a part of all six of them. We no, I'm not, I'm not, not taking nothing from LeBron, but we're not going to no, no, take no. nothing from we're Michael. Not, Jordan we're not we're either. not taking nothing from Michael, but Michael didn't do it by himself. No, he did. And, 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 I, and, I can give you a brief. Uh, the 1991 NBA Finals, Michael Jordan said, "I'm a guard, Magic Johnson." Guess what happened? Magic Johnson dropped a triple double on his head, and they took an L. And guess who guarded him from Game Two on out? Scotty Pippen. Pippen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and 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 honestly, and when I talk about that, and I bring up Scotty, and I bring up Dennis Rodman, I don't, 
I, I I totally forget about Tony Kuh. I forget about Tony Kukoc. I forget about him. He was a bum, right. Dale. No, he wasn't. Tony, Tony Kukoc, Kukoc was, was a bum. Kukoc was not a bum. Are you Pull serious? Pull his career numbers bum. up. Pull Tony Kukoc's career numbers up. Well, I'm going to answer Phil's question <laughs> first. <laughs> Tony right. Kukoc was a bum? Man, Tony Kukoc was a bum. Nah. Man. I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you just saying you don't like him. That's the problem. Yeah, I bet you don't average over ten points. Ron Harper, I got the record. Was nice, but he had a knee injury. What, what, what's the record? All right, so uh, 1990, 1991, uh, 61, 21. Uh, 1991, 1992, 67 and 15. Uh, 1992 to 1993, 57 and 25. 1993 to 1994. The year he retired. Right, 57 and 55. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 1994 to 1995, 47 and 35. Uh, 1995 to 1997, 69 and 13. And 1997 to 1998, 62 and 20. Okay. It went 62 and 20. His, you don't, they, that's, they that's, last that's not year. all Michael Jordan. I'm sorry. And, 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 and to be honest, number one, and, I, and I'll go back to this, LeBron James, even in his Miami uh, years, never had a coach that's even in the same universe as Phil Jackson. Never. His coaches were who? Paul Silas when he first got here. And yeah. who was after Paul Silas? Who was the coach here after Paul Silas? Don't give me the line. Ain't, uh, ain't it Mike, Mike Brown? Brown? Mike Brown. So Paul Silas, Mike Brown. Then he went to Miami. He had Spolstra. Then he came back here and had David Blatt. And Ty Lue. And Ty Lue. He picked Ty Lue. And now I, I get that. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that don't mean Ty, but Ty, but no, Ty, but. And then he had, after um, after Ty Lue, he has Luke Walton. Luke Walton. Those coaches combined don't even come close to Phil Jackson. Man, I just remember the blank stare that Ty Lue used to have on his face. When he <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I'm just I, I'm just saying, I, I, I wish these, these Michael Jordan stands would stop acting like Michael Jordan just did everything by himself. Because even when Michael wasn't there, the Bulls are still winning 50-plus games. Even when he wasn't there, when he was out playing terrible baseball, they were winning 50-plus 50, 50, 50 games. Uh, Why? Because they had players like Scottie Pippen and Tony Kukoc. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to hear um, career uh, stats? 11.6 points a it, game. Yeah, 11. That's 6. trash, no, man. Tony Kukoc, it, it, for, for what they needed Four him to rebounds, do. 4.2 rebounds and 3.7 assists. But for what they That's needed him to do. Role. For what they needed him to do <laughs> in the journeyman tr- journeyman got but three for rings. what they needed for that offense, Tony Kukoc was perfect. As a journeyman. If numbers. nothing else, he was a fantastic role player. And and that's what Michael always had. Michael always had great role players. That's fine. People like Luke Longley, people like Kurt, people like Paxson, people like BJ Armstrong. Luke people Longley like was a bomb too, kid. Horace Come on. Green. No, man. no, no. He, I didn't say no, I'm not saying Luke Longley was Kareem. I didn't say Luke Longley was Kareem. Luke Longley played his role and he did it perfectly. He's not. I'm not saying he's Kareem or Will. We all know that. Give me Bill Cartwright over Luke Longley. Okay, man. so they did about the same thing. <laughs> Luke Longley, Bill Cartwright, yeah, Horace Grant, Ku coach Horace, Horace Grant. Grant. We didn't even talk about Horace Grant. Horace Grant. I give you Ron Grant. Harper. Like those. Those were some. Those were really good role players, and they did exactly what they needed to do in that triangle Ron offense. Harper. Yes, Ron, Ron Harper. Come he, on, E. Come he won. On, e. He won Ron Harper to the Cavaliers because he e. had two t- uh, torn ACLs yeah, when he got e. to the Bulls. Stop it. But e. he still was a good defender. Yeah, okay. Don't do that when e. he got to the Bulls. Don't do that, E. Come on Ron now. Harper, okay. Ron Harper was now. still nice though. Yeah. Okay. Hit. Man, it was trash. Maybe. What? Stop. Just Easy. Stop. Just stop. No, no, yeah, no. Just stop. Not at all. Yeah. Just stop. Yeah, go ahead and turn, your, turn your own mic on. <laughs> you, 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 I like B.J. Armstrong, too. B.J. Armstrong? Too. Yeah, that's he what I'm saying. Go ahead, Phil. So, in my, in, my, in my head, in my estimation, because here's the thing about this whole GOAT conversation and everything, I can't really determine who is the greatest player of all time, and I'll tell you why. Because I never saw Kareem Abdul-Jabbar play. Mm-hmm. I never saw Kareem Abdul-Jabbar play. I did. Play. He was he money. Yeah. He was money. The fact that this man dominated for so long. As a and, and, I mean, I know he didn't have the, 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 the back to back to back and then the back to back to back again that but Michael he got Jordan had. He, he got, got what, five got, rings? He, six. 
picks. Yes, he has he has as many as Mike. Yeah. And he, he got, got thirty eight thousand points. He got the five MVP is Mike. Thirty eight thousand points. So that's he what has I'm saying. Thirty eight thousand so points. How, so then how is so then how are we just universally saying Mike is the goat? Kareem's got more points and as many rings. I and don't know. I don't understand that. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I just it just popped into my head. And for what it's worth for that, you know what I'm saying? Before then, as much as everybody wants to discount it, as much as everybody wants to talk about, oh, he ain't played nothing but plumbers back in the day, Bill Russell won what? How many championships? 11. 11. Well, it, was on, it was on like 12 teams in the league. Don't though. matter. 11 is 11. 11 is more than six. So they taught me. I ain't, in, take, in, I ain't in, taking in, nothing in away math. from it, but it, 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 won, it won 31 teams in the league. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or John Havlicek with nine. I mean, and and Kareem Abdul Jabbar had the most unstoppable shot in the history of the NBA. Or, or we talk, or we talk about you know your your boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's the, what's the, who? Oh my God, Tim Kelly. Tim Kelly. Oh yeah, Wilt. Wilt. Yeah. yeah. Wilt. It's some people that say that I argue out there. It's Kobe. It's some Tim? people that's argue out there that's LeBron. I think what what it boils down to is who you saw, who you saw play while you was playing, it, and what what it is. And and I saw this theory on Facebook, and and I I kind of agree with this theory. It's the fact that the, these people they they grew up with Jordan. They grew up with Jordan. Yep. It's a yep. it's a certain nostalgic factor about Jordan. Don't get me wrong, because Jordan Jordan belongs in that greatest of players of conversation. He is one of the greatest players of all time. But is he Don't get me wrong, greatest? but I think it, it, it's a certain thing. Like if, if you ask. Anybody from the eighties or the seventies or anything like that. Some people will say Magic Johnson is the greatest player of all time. It's just something about the people that you see growing up, and and it it, it takes a certain amount of fan mm-hmm. or a, a certain person for the love of game of basketball, not just something that you love growing up for you to step back and to realize like, yo, this person actually might be greater than this person, Michael might Jordan. Be. Michael Jordan, not Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson was a guard who could play all five positions on the court and do it seamlessly. That was insane. Magic Johnson Magic Johnson was, was fast, he was agile, he was athletic, and he could guard a center. That was, he was insane. It's so it's, so but, it is hard to say that. But I'm a, this is with all due respect to Magic Johnson. I think Kobe Bryant is the greatest Laker of all time, man. I'm sorry. He ain't great in Kareem. I, I think I think Kobe Kareem didn't play his whole career with the Lakers though. He played two seasons or one season with the Bucks. Yeah, they were the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah. They, he, he played. He played. He, he came in the league, then they traded him to, to the Lakers. I don't but that know. was in the early seventies. That, that's, that's a hard I, thing I think for Kobe, me to do. Kobe, Kobe, what do everybody oh, always no. scream? That's a hard thing, Kobe. I understand <laughs> that. That's a hard. I'm not thing saying who was the do. better player. Kareem I'm Abdul saying Jab- who I think is the greatest. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the greatest Laker of all time. That's a hard thing that's for all, me to do too, man. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the greatest. For me to put anybody over Magic as a Laker, I'm just like I'm putting Kareem only because if you if you're just gonna go by the number. And Kareem, Kareem was in, and Kareem was a Laker for well over a decade. Well over a decade. Okay, okay. So he, he was he was a Laker then. He was you right. He was, he was basically the centerpiece of honestly, and and you maybe you might because you. Now I seen him play age. a little bit. If you I I saw them in their prime. If you saw the Showtime Lakers, you want you talk about the Golden State Warriors now. They were the Warriors way before the Warriors. The Showtime Lakers were amazing. Right. And I saw them in their prime. The Showtime Lakers were just out of this world. I got a question for y'all. We, we need to go to break. We'll yeah. Go, yeah, we'll, okay. we'll, let's go, let's okay. go to break real quick. Hold but I'm, I'm just saying the Showtime I'll Lakers, and I wish I could take the, the, the prime Showtime Lakers against the prime Golden State Warriors right now. It'd be it, That game would be insane. All right, uh, let's go ahead and take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk some more. You guys name the song. Uh, the name of the song is called The Road by Serious Beats. This is the Quad Brothers Sports Show on One Union Media Network. The Quad? Yep. Who was it on that Showtime Lakers?
All right, welcome back to the show. Real quick, before we get into what you wanted to, to, to say, Phil, I just want to, um, on behalf of the whole crew, uh, send a shout out, man, and, and some blessings out uh, to Michi Johnson. He tore his ACL oh, over yeah. the weekend, and we want to just send out our support out to you, man. We already went out and, and, and met you. Get well, young king, and we mean that. Get well, get yourself right, man. Come back next year, ready to go, man. So shout out Michi Johnson, man, young young man. Yeah. Um, you know, towards ACL, and that's unfortunate. But you know, the the good thing is, um, is that with with sports medicine the way it is right now, you can come back from that and oh, and be just as good as you were before. So, meet you get well, man. Salute. What's up, Jack? Old man, <laughs> Jack old. Tell Coming you, in, man. does he look old? Game. He look old in that picture. <laughs> so man. I know you old now. The, 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 How old is Jack? About late seventies, early eighties. He got to be eighties. He got to be eighty. 80s. 80s. He gotta be 80, so. Yeah. The, the Showtime Lakers were that's the – Look at Eddie in the back. That's look a, at that's Eddie. A, that's a slick right. tight picture, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> the Showtime Lakers were the team in professional sports in the 80s. It was – they were bigger than the Dallas Cowboys. They were bigger than the New York Yankees. The Showtime Lakers were the preeminent team of the 80s. The Celtics were really good. The Celtics were blue collar. Look at what Magic is wearing in the picture. We got the that, that fur. That shit chilling. Boy. The boy. Showtime See, Lakers were the Y'all lucky I wasn't born back there because that would have been my Bruh. favorite thing. I've been fighting over you. What you say about you, the Lakers? Kev, you got Magic Johnson in the front, Jack Nicholson, Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson, Prince, Eddie Murphy. The all in one picture. The I Showtime Prince in the back Prince left. In the back oh left. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Showtime <laughs> Lakers were the <laughs> Team of the eighties. Headed to the game, though. I, man. <laughs> man, how did he concentrate on basketball? Oh no, man! If I was, I'm Magic Johnson. I'm point guard <laughs> of the Showtime Lakers. I'm telling you, man. Bro. And they and 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 here's the thing. Here's a, to me, and I know this. This is this is not. It's not really basketball related, but you know, to me, the most important, impressive person on that team away from the basketball court was AC Green. Because A.C. Green is a devout Christian. He was a Green 40 year old virgin. A.C. Green stayed a virgin through that whole yes. thing. He did. And what? beyond. Yes. He did, Phil. What? He did, Phil. Yes. He did, he ever, did he ever marry before he, he died? Did, he, he, he's, he's still alive. He's still, he's still alive? He's still alive. AC Green still alive. I thought he died. Time out. Time out. I thought he passed. Time out. Did he? I, Let me check. Let me check it out. Let me I thought he, I think he's still alive, but he, he stayed a virgin through the whole thing. Hit, hit the record. Thing. Remove the right? pen from the needle from the record. You mean to tell me this man in, in, the, in the 80s, 80s. in L.A. Showtime Lakers. He stayed low. Was a and, devout and he, Christian, and he wasn't. And he wasn't an end of the bench guy. AC Green played yeah. played a prominent role in that team. I stayed a virgin. I'm sorry. And as much as I, and Lord forgive me for saying, maybe this. Michael Cooper might have passed, but I don't yeah, know. AC Green still living. Yeah, he, he is. Living. Yeah. yeah, Lord. He, he's, he's he's got married. He got married later on in his career. Maybe it may. I think he played his whole career and didn't get married and got married it, after after basketball. He, after basketball. I remember he was, that. And he, he didn't stayed a virgin. Yes. Lord, forgive me. <laughs> but if I was a part of the Showtime Lakers Bruh. in the 80s, do you know how much dope and coke and, and drugs and all time? How much? I wonder what they were on. I know all of them had to this be on something. Thing magic it's it's all of them. It's it. from. Yeah. During um, his playing days, his teammates would frequently send women to tempt him to compromise. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out A.C. Green, yeah. Green bro. <laughs> Shout strongest, out AC Green. Man I ever knew. Could you ever open, open, <laughs> open the door to that? And you just like you know what? Strongest mm-hmm. man I ever no, knew. I'm not gonna do this. Mm-hmm. And, and it's not just, it's not just Hollywood, man. You going all over the country, New York City. You going Boston. You going Atlanta. everywhere. Everywhere Atlanta. you go, I'm a part of the Showtime Lakers. Everywhere you go, give me everything for free because yes. I don't know how he did it, I don't man. Know, I, the strongest man ever. That's that. That's who. That who's stronger than AC Green? How Nobody. How old is he? <laughs> old is he? Fifty-five. We need to see if we can get him for an interview. I, mean, <laughs> I, need, I need questions. I, need I got questions that I need answers. AC, how you do Immediately. That's that's. You want to talk about faith? Out. Shout out. That's somebody I mean, you want to sell some game from some, right there. Right. Again, for somebody to be so devoted to something and some so focused <laughs> on one thing. His 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 purpose. His, his mission. His 
his code, his man, his manhood. And I you, am focused on this. And you know he got clowned in the locker room. I'm sure it was all in good fun, but you know they clowned Every him in the day. locker That's room. That's why they sent women up there to tempt him. Yeah. Every day. Man. I think, I think besides him, and I don't even know if he was married at the time, but maybe, you know, Kareem, because he's a devout Muslim, maybe he didn't, I don't uh, know. I couldn't see I that know, Kareem partake, I partake, see that He either. might have been married. Kareem might have been married anyway. I don't know. Wilt man. slept with 100 women. But, right. man, Matt, but Magic was out there Magic doing, was his, doing thing. his thing. Magic was man. out there. Magic was out there. I mean, just imagine being a part of that, again, in, in that decade, the decade of excess and decadence, where, every, where money was everything in the 80s. And you in Hollywood, and you part of the most popular team in all of pro sports. I wouldn't be concentrating on basketball. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I would not be able. My shot would be off. I don't know what's going Just on. Just concentrating on basketball know. would be hard enough. You got to be the end. You a virgin. And I can imagine the kind of women that his teammates are sending to his room. Yeah. Five star materials. Lakers. <laughs> I'm just shout out AC Green, man. Okay, so man. you was gonna make a point before we went to break. You, 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 I, I just had I just had a question. So um when and or if, and I'm saying when because it, it feels like a foregone conclusion, that they win these championships this summer, that'll be number four for Steph. Okay. At what point do we start putting him in these discussions that we keep having? He has, I don't think he's played long enough yet. Not played long enough yet? I don't know. Well, maybe. He's coming up on 10 years, right? He got drafted in 2009, correct? Right. That's so maybe. Four rings? He hit maybe. Se- if he hit seven, then yeah. Maybe. I think you. I think Kevin Durant going to creep up there too pretty no, soon. You know what I'll say? Because here's my thing. You want to discredit? You no, want to no, no, discredit no, no. the ring so bad? I don't. I don't want to disc. No, no, you know why? No, I, I won't. I won't. As much as I don't like the Warriors, I won't because Steph was drafted, Draymond was drafted, Clay was drafted. They were all drafted. Draymond was a second round pick. So no, I'm not going to discredit that. But I'll say to me, when you're talking about if you're going to talk about the goat, like you have to have everything. I, I don't think Steph is a great all-around player. I don't think he is. Either. He's already the greatest shooter the league has ever seen. Yeah. To me, Steph Curry is always, already the greatest shooter the league has ever seen. And Outside seen of some, that, what'd he give you? And we've seen some yes. And we've seen some good shooters. So would would it be more towards Kevin Durant creeping into that conversation? Would you rather have Kevin Durant? You would, not, you would, he, not, he, he got some more work see, to do, but see, he not yeah. ruled out. See, uh, this is where it gets tough for me because he, he got some more work to do. I want to discredit KD's ring. We can't though. I want we to. Can't, no. I if we can't though. If we discredit KD ring, we got to discredit LeBron rings in Miami. We can't do that. You want you want to discredit <laughs> we can't. so bad, don't you? Here, we can't. Well, I, I but see here, I always say the situation with LeBron and Kevin Durant is different because Kevin Durant was on a team already with a top five player in Russell Westbrook that had the Warriors down three one. Then you got then you choked away the series and then went to join the Warriors. LeBron is different How? with him and when, the Cavs. With the team he left the Cavaliers won sixty one games. They was the number one seed. In but the he East. went. But he went to a team that won like what forty two games. But they had and Dwayne even, Wade and Chris Bosh though. Yeah, I get it. it. Well, Wade was it already there. Yeah, Wade was already there. Here's yeah, here. Wade, I, but still, Clay Curry and like you said, Draymond got drafted by that team. I think the one seventy three without Kevin Durant. I think the only difference between the two is LeBron went somewhere to actually beat somebody. And I think that that is the difference. In, in, in KD did too. He went there to beat LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> he knew who was in his way. <laughs> first, time, time out. No, that's false. Because they weren't getting back to the finals, whether, you know what I'm saying, whether or not you – you just blew a 3-1 lead. You mean to tell me you thought the Warriors had any chance? Killed I mean, two Thunder, birds with one stone. You really think the Thunder had any That's, chance with the Warriors two at birds all? With why, do one we, stone. why do we talk about LeBron doesn't have that? Why, why do we never say Kevin Durant doesn't have that killer instinct? Kevin Durant, uh, Kevin he, Durant had he, him down 3-1 and could have said, you know what? Let's 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 reload. I got Russ. We had these boys down through. Let's go back and go at him again. Because as much as it is as much as it wants to be like you want to call it a front runner. Uh, he murked us in that series. It definitely did. He yeah. murked. Particularly I have, LeBron. I have, I have never. It 
Because I remember, I remember the first year that he went to Golden State. I was like, man, you think I'm supposed to be scared of Cupcake Kevin Durant? You think he did. Cupcake he Kevin Durant is going to – when he and, came and he didn't down. Come in, he didn't come in to play no role, when did he? he came down for that game two shot yeah. and pulled it up in us. LeBron's face and hit that shot, I was like, oh – this man is different. But here, yeah. here's my thing, and I, and I, I just I'm 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 steady playing devil's advocate here, but I'm just I'm asking questions because every time you say something like that, a question pops into my head. Is that not easier to do? It is when you yes. know you have shooters like yes. Steph Curry it, it, and Klay Thompson is. and Javon Green. It's it easier is. to do but that. It, it's, it's easier for LeBron to go win a championship to play with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh too. If you got Richard Jefferson and here, here, here's, Kyle Culver, you know what I'm saying? Here, here's a here's an argument that I, I argue for that. LeBron James is as quiet as is kept, and maybe just for that that first year, I will give that first year to Dwayne Wade. That second and third year, LeBron James was the most important player right. on that team. Right. I'm not saying Kevin, that Kevin Durant is not the most important player on the Warriors. Do they do they win the championship without Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant, they're not getting to the finals. They already without won Steph one Curry. without Kevin Durant. They already they, won they're one without Kevin Durant. No, I'm talking about this team right now. This team right now, would they would have beat the Cavaliers without Kevin Durant? No. Okay. That's w- no. with, with Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, and LeBron James. But, would but, this team beat no. the Warriors? With, I mean, beat the Cavs without Kevin Durant? But here's the thing. We would have beat them. Here, here's well, the I thing. don't know. If not for Ky- Kyrie's last second shot, they, they almost here, had us anyway. Here's the thing, though. Without Steph Curry, and they're Kyrie. not getting to the finals, period. They're just not. Nope. They're are com- they are a completely different they team they without are. Steph Curry. They are. They are. And that's what I think – you're right, Kev. It, it makes it easier. But it Kevin Durant's still the best player on that team. He though. still got to hit the shot. He still hit the and shot. And he's like still the best player on that team. But, but like, he's not it go the back most to it go back to the LeBron effect. Team. If you get LeBron shooters around him, he is he unstoppable. But he's That's not the, same the most important. He's still yeah, not the most you, important player on that yeah, team. Yeah, how can you be the best player on the team? You're not the most important player on the team. It be like that sometimes. He, he's not Cause the most important Because LeBron was the best player on Miami, but Dwayne Wade was the most important player but on the team. Think about inject, inject Michael Jordan into the conversation. Without Kevin Durant, the Warriors were better than any team Michael Jordan ever played on. Without Kevin Durant. And then, then, then Kevin Durant comes on, and then they went. You know what I'm saying? But so we beat that team, though. So I get they, that. I get they, that. They I'm, just, I'm just saying I, I, they weren't. I was about to say, <laughs> we, y'all, they weren't. Y'all didn't finish. So Michael y'all Jordan, not, y'all not that, you, you got to discredit that whole season because they didn't finish. Oh, okay. Let's say the greatest regular season team. <laughs> <in my life. laughs> but <laughs> you can take Kevin Durant off of that team, and the Warriors are still the odds-on favorite in the West to get no. to the finals. No. Who going to who, no. who, who beat no. them? No. Who going to beat them? If you take Kevin Durant off this team, the Houston Rockets no. are going to walk to the NBA Finals. And they're not walking. No, they're they going to walk they to the might, NBA Finals if there. you they take Kevin walk. Durant off of this team. Walk? Are you if crazy? you take wow. Kevin Durant off of this team right now, the Houston Rockets are going to walk to the NBA Finals. Tell me how. How are they going to walk? Because, because they had them down 3-2 last year. James and Chris Ball got hurt. They because had him down Paul? three two last that's, year that's when not Chris Paul got hurt. No. That's not a walk. Not they would have beat him four two. That's, not, that's a gentleman's sweep. We don't know that. That's a gentleman's sweep. We don't know that. We don't know Sir, that. Sir, first of all, you don't have the same team that you had last year. Who? Cool. So the Rockets, they are not the same team that they were last they year. They better. Reg, but Reg, the Warriors won seventy three games without Kevin Durant. But they didn't win though. They didn't win a championship, but they don't. They didn't we, win. But Regular we all, season we, means but nothing. But we all established. We all established already when KD went to the Warriors. They didn't need Kevin Durant. They, they didn't. didn't. They no, just they needed didn't. to get Kevin Durant away from Oklahoma they, they City. They didn't, they didn't need Kevin. But that Durant. put him over the top when he got there. So then, but that, but then, how important? If if we already know that they don't need you, how important are you? He's not the most. They don't important need player. you. He's still the domino effect. But the Warriors, everything when when that happened. I guarantee that broke up the Cavaliers I when that happened. If you look at, <laughs> Am I wrong? If you went no. to Vegas, if Kevin Durant leaves the Warriors and goes to the Knicks, Vegas will still have the Warriors as the odds on favorites in the West because Steph they is still will. there, Draymond is still there, and Clay is still there. I guarantee that. I guarantee Vegas will. I don't know. Now, the odds may be lower, I don't but know they're that. still the odds on favorites. I don't know that. Who's better, though? Not Houston? Without – uh, Houston has beaten this team twice already. But their best player don't play. Their best Houston's best player plays no. You talk about LeBron don't that. play defense. James but, Harden don't play defense at all. I do believe the two times they played the Warriors, Stephen Curry was in uniform, Kevin Durant was in uniform, Klay Thompson was in uniform, Draymond Green was in uniform, DeMarcus Cousins in uniform. Chris they, Paul didn't even play the they, second game. And they game. still got boogie. I didn't even, again. Chris, 
Chris, I'm, I'm not even thinking oh, about Boogie. You forgot about Hello, Boogie. Forgot about Boogie. And let me make my point. They had all five of those guys. Chris Paul didn't play in that second game, and James Harden dropped 52 points on them, and they won the, that basketball game. I mean, when you do that four times out of seven, James, then come holler at me. Y- y'all can't sit up here and say Houston ain't no threat to this team. No, no, no. Man. I didn't say they were a threat. I'm saying even without Kevin Durant, the Warriors would still be the odds-on yeah. favorite to win the West. But I didn't that don't mean they're going to win it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just means they'll still be the favorites. That's all I'm saying. They would still be the favorites in the West, period, even without Kevin Durant. What? Hold on. Time out. Time out. Because now, now I'm getting ready to treat you like how I treat the dudes at the barbershop. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> Since we don't want to put no money, we push ups, twenty five push ups right now, right now, saying right now, I guarantee you, if they meet in the Western Conference Finals, semifinals, whenever, the Golden State Warriors were gonna beat the Houston that, Rockets. That's not the argument we making. The argument we making, if you take Kevin Durant off of that team, I will bet you all day that the Houston Rockets will beat the Warriors. I, I think. It. I think it will be an even matchup. It, <laughs> that's, I don't see it, that's, bro. I, I, I got, I got now, good sense, Kevin. <laughs> they got Kevin Durant. I said, if you take Kevin Durant <laughs> off of that team. Yeah, now, <laughs> I, now, here's our thing, though, because I'm wondering this, and, and, I, and I don't know the Houston Rockets roster that well, so I may be asking this out of ignorance. Oh, I can look at this up. They got some good players. Who they got? Yeah. If, if Kevin Durant's not there, who does Houston have down low that's going to take care of Boogie, that's going to neutralize Boogie? Uh, Kenneth Faree and uh, okay, they got Faree. Capella. Yeah, okay. okay, I gave Faree. Okay, they got Faree. Faree and Capella. I'll take, Cap- I'll I'll take Capella I'll over Faree. Yeah, but Faree, but you, you don't see I, his numbers I'll this take, year? I'll take Capella. You don't see what Faree doing this year? Defensively against Boogie, yeah, I'll take yeah, Capella. Yeah. I would take Capella. I just, I just uh, for my, again, I, all I'm saying is, if Kevin Durant goes to the Knicks this offseason, which is a possibility, let's not get it twisted. If he do the that, Gold- the East going to be nasty. The and Golden you know State- he ain't going by himself. The Golden State Warriors will still be the odds-on favorite to win the West. It will not be the Houston Rockets. It will not be the Portland Trailblazers. The closest team to them would still be the Denver Nuggets. But they're still going to be the favorites because they still have Steph. Ooh, they wow. still have Clay. They still got Draymond. They still got Steve Kerr, and they the still got Boogie. <laughs> oh, I ain't worried about the Nuggets. Denver, we. They weak. They weak. Yeah, well, they Denver, just, Denver they, just got it. But Denver, not, Denver, Denver and Houston will be the two closest teams to them. But they're still the favorites, even without Kevin Durant. And, yes, if he goes to the East and he brings Lil' Bro with him. Yeah, he ain't going by himself. We know what type of heart nah, Kevin yeah, Durant got. He's not going to go somewhere by himself. Exactly. Remember, we, Nick's got that number one overall pick. What they might? They have, got number one overall I, pick. I think they have the number. I think they, they, no, they, 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 have, they haven't done the lottery yet. Have they? I was about to no, say. I, no, no, no. I think. I think. Oh, my bad. I think they are leading for the number one overall. Pick. Yeah, right. They might be. They might. What they? But leading they, us. You're right. They right. Be. But that's the good thing about the lottery. That don't really Man, you, mean it. You anything. already knew what it was. You knew once Kevin came back. Now all of a sudden we we, we beat the Knicks energy. every time we played them. I'm Man, like, why? stop, stop doing that. Because the Knicks know what it is. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if they do the number one pick and they get Zion and KD and Kyrie? Is there? It's gonna oh, be. That'd it's be gonna lit. be. A, it's gonna be that'd a party be lit, in New, New York. York. It's that'd be, a, be lit, in New York. You know the best thing about being a Cavs fan is I don't really care. I was like, we suck. I already know we suck. So yeah. whatever. Hey, and we you can s- watch freely. Yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, we ain't gonna front. Like these last four years, it's it's been entertaining, but it's, it's been the most stressful. Stress. Stress. <laughs> stress. It's been so stressful. Stress. Stress. We but stress free, man. Like it's whatever. Whatever. It's been you right. It's been so stressful. Stressful and drama and all. That's what happens when you at the top. Yeah. But here's the thing. That's what happens <laughs> when you at the top and you not the Warriors and it's a foregone conclusion that you go win the NBA champions. Yeah. Man. I just but but I, I just to me the the Golden State Warriors, even without Kevin Durant, are still a, just a, a, a few notches above everybody else in the West. They just are. But because of the way that they're coached, because of the way that they move the basketball, the bat Honestly, the, the ball never stops moving and going. They, they never stop moving the, the ball. And that frees up their shooters. And they got shooters that can, I mean, that can just shoot it from anywhere. Who really has a, a range limit in, in Golden State? Maybe Draymond? Yeah, definitely Steph Draymond. doesn't. And when he's on, Klay Thompson is on. Pardon me. Like, they don't, Steph doesn't have a range. I don't care. Steph has no range. Whatever. Steps have no range. But we, we also forget in the big equation, like everybody always sweep this under the rug. The biggest reason that Warriors team was able to do what they do to us because Kevin Durant never had to guard LeBron. 
it was always Andre Iguodala. Yep. Andre Iguodala, not the same Andre Iguodala no more. He's old. So that's going to come into factor. They're going to have to they they're, they're going to have to retool a little bit because a lot of their role players are getting older too. Sean Livingston, yeah. Andre Iguodala. Yeah. But they're like the Bulls of the 90s. Their role players play their roles perfectly. They're not selfish about their role. Andre Iguodala is not mad about coming off the bench. No, he ain't. Sean Livingston ain't mad about coming off the bench. And when Sean Livingston comes in, Sean Livingston seems to hit every shot he shoots. Mid range. When he shoots mid range, that turn around. But, I mean, it's, but it's, it's ridiculous. Like eight, nine straight yeah. points. You just be like, mm, okay. <laughs> I remember that game. We, me and, and Eli and Phil were at BW three in, in, in University Circle. We just sitting down there watching that game. That, fi- that the game one of the finals, and Livingston came in and he just hit everything. He hit everything. I'm like, really? No, we wasn't watching game one, bro. But what game was that we were watching? I was like, game. We was watching like game two. Oh, that game, game two? Three. Okay. Yeah, because I, I was. Oh, because game I, one was the JR. I was down game. at the queue. Yeah, yeah. For game. You know, I, I remember uh, game Earl? one. I remember oh, right, game. Right, Earl game. We had a chance to win game. one game that series, and we game. blew it. I JR no, blew it. Earl blew it. I was saying, Earl blew it. Ain't no we. Earl blew it. Earl blew it. Ain't no we. Earl blew it. <laughs> we had a chance to win one I game. Get, I guarantee. I, I keep Where is Earl now? Where is he playing now? Earl's not playing. Still on the Cavs. Yeah, Earl, they gave we're him his, release him after the gave season him his money. Trade. Gone about your business. Oh, okay. for the rest if of we the can't season. trade him, we're going to release him at the end of the season. We're good. We're good. I mean, pre change it for the, the first couple of years, Earl, but yeah. yeah. He, he, overall, though, outside of that one play, he was a good investor. He was good. Yeah, he was. Outside of that one play, Phil. <laughs> no, he was. Phil, he outside was. of that one play, Phil. Come he on was. now. He was. He was. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't, understand. you don't understand how much I ate her. I hate her. You know I why? He, and he was a good investment because I think when he got here, we all fully expected wild out New yeah. York Knicks. Yeah. You know, and we didn't and he get played that. good ball. He did. He did. He played <laughs> <laughs> Give it up, Phil. J.R. Swish. He was J.R. Swish. Before he went back to Earl, he was J.R. Swish. I hate you, Earl. We don't win the championship without I him, man. I hate you. Let's not forget, coming out of that finals, that yes, third I quarter. Yes, I know. He hit the three straight threes. Yeah, I know. He, 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 I don't. <laughs> yep. So, respect for that, Earl, but you, you messed up in game two. Yeah. And that game was like, that, and, I, and I get it. I get LeBron like, bro, what are you doing? How do you not know <laughs> bro, what the score is? The man, the man dropped fifty something points on the Warriors. Phil. On the Warriors. I'm gonna tell you yeah. this: what it was, the free throw play was going on. Jerry was like, "Uh, what do I want to eat tonight?" Yeah, uh, yeah. The shot went up, and then he forgot what. Was, huh? What? Oh, oh, <laughs> we out. We out. We out. Where the hitty at? Where the hitty at? <laughs> nah, Earl, we're not up, bro. We're not up. Got to be the. Dumbest play in sports history. How can you make the biggest rebound in the game and then the worst play in the game all in the please same possession? Stop talking about it. The please. biggest play and the worst play please, all in the same please possession. Can we stop talking? My blood pressure is going up right now just <laughs> thinking about it. Put that right along with, the, with Red Right 88 and the shot and the fumble and the drive. The, yeah. Earl. the Earl. The Earl. The Earl. The, the dribble. Earl. The dribble. Call it the dribble because he's trying to dribble the clock out. Oh, my God. The dribble. That's what we're going to name it. We just named it the dribble. <laughs> That was Earl. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. As as much as it, it caused stress and we were all all on our edge of the seat for those four years. We, I think we knew they weren't winning that series. I, I, it was a good ride. I miss it. Yeah. I oh, miss yeah. it, too. I miss I, it, too. I can't stand this. I can't. You barely can watch basketball this. now. I cannot. As a basketball fan, mm-hmm. I cannot stand how terrible we are right now. And it and this whole this this whole notion, and I don't know if it's part of my language, the great white hope in Cleveland, we always gotta attach ourselves to some white athlete or something, or whatever the case may be. This whole notion that Kevin Love and Seti Osman <laughs> are going to Chill lead, out, Phil. are going to lead us get, get, to an get, NBA you know. title. Like Get like Kevin I, Love I was here. listening, I was listening to the to one of the radio stations. I don't want to shout him out. Sadie Osman is is bump. I was listening to one of the stations <laughs> this week, and, and and one of the arguments was one of the reporters. They was making an argument like, "Why would you trade Kevin Love now? Kevin Love, he's he's a all star. He's a superstar. He can lead us." And, 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 and one, we still suck. And, and one of the the other dudes, thank God, the other dude had his head on straight, and he just looked at him, and he was just like. 
Kevin Love is not leading you to an NBA championship. At all. In what world do these people think? And they really seem to think, y'all remember how it was at the beginning of the season. This season was not supposed to go like this. No. We were supposed to make the playoffs and make a run this season with Kevin Love and Seti Osman. You remember and that. And on top of that, Kevin Love can't stay on the court. Even when he on the court, he a ball. He's always hurt. He a good third option on a, on a championship team, though. Good. Because he's going to play his role. That's good. You know what I'm saying? But he's not the number one guy You're by not. far. He's not. He's not. He's, he's not, not the an number alpha two guy. He he's not the dog. number two guy. He didn't do Jack in Minnesota. He was, he was number good. two last year with LeBron. Because when LeBron was hurting Kyrie and it was Kyrie and Kevin Love, we couldn't win. Nope. That should have been enough to still have been able to win, and shouldn't that, it? And that right there speaks to LeBron's greatness. Yeah. This that team, still should have been enough, though, right? With yeah. Kyrie, J.R., Kevin Love, Tristan. We still should have been able to play over 500 when basketball. When LeBron James left the court and Kevin Love, and they got, this team was terrible. They, we would be up by eight. And LeBron would go sit down, and we come back and be, and be either up by only two or down by four. Kevin Love needs to go, too. Get him out of here. Let's try, let's try to get if you're gonna, going. If you're going to if you're gonna rebuild... Rebuild all the way. Yeah. And make we, sure, matter of fact, we're going to package Kevin Love with Tristan Thompson. Get Tristan Thompson out of if, here. If we can come out of this fool. on the other side like the 76ers, I'll take a couple of years. Since, I'll take a few years of losing. Since, since y'all hating so much, call the Lakers and see if they'll give us LeBron Please. back. Please. Because they said that where it is, they're they going to all options on the table. Oh, this all summer. options on the table. Here, take this number one pick. Take Kevin Love. Take Tristan Thompson. Give us LeBron, give back. Us LeBron back. Just give it back. All right, man. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. Dang, already time for the last half hour of the show. You know how we'll do. We'll chop it up. We'll freestyle a little bit. Get last name of the song. Uh, the name of the song is called Blue Sky by Bird Beats. This is the Quad Brothers Sports Show on One Unit Media Network. The Quad? Yep. Back to the show, yeah. I, I had to do it, man. I, I was telling, I had to go rogue, man. I, I, I had to, I was in. See, here's what I, I, I went to Drug Mart to get oh, some God. almond milk for my um protein shakes that I have to make every morning for breakfast. So, I went. Here's the thing it's, it's a bad idea to go to any store at all that sells food when you're hungry. So, I went to, I went to Drug Mart, and I'm hungry. You know, I go in there, I'm trying to stay focused, keep my blinders on. I go, I grab the almond milk. I'm walking back to the register, but you got to go past the little fruit pie and cake section mm. on the way to the register. Caught you out the side of your I, eye. I saw the cherry, the, the little <laughs> cherry pie. I had to grab it, man. 
I hate it. I hate the stages it. though. Kevin. Yeah. yeah it, it just keep calling me. I had to eat it in stages though, because if I eat that much sugar in one setting, man, I would be like shaking and all like it's, it's, I guess. I did that once with a with a muffin, and it was a sugary muffin. And I ate it all in one setting, and I was like, my stomach was like, nah, bro. Nah, it's not the move. That's not happening. Nah. So I went rogue, man. I had to do that. Okay, so let me just go off to something that's totally not related to sports since the last half half hour show. So I saw this video on Twitter of a lady who was she went to the zoo. This is in Phoenix, I believe. She went to the zoo, and the headline said live footage of a woman after she was attacked by a jaguar in the zoo. But here's what the headline left out. It's very important. This lady, this woman jumped the barrier to get a selfie with the Jaguar. And the Jaguar was like, nah, we're not doing this today. And the Jaguar, she lived, and she was laying on the ground crying. Stop all that dog on crying. What you, she, what you thought was going to happen? You went in there with a Jaguar for a selfie? What you, what you thought was going to happen? Exactly. We ain't friends. I ain't friendly. Question. Yeah, you know she was. <laughs> <laughs> you know she was. You know she was. Sorry. Sorry. Just keeping it funky with y'all. Just keeping it funky with you. You, ain't me. I, you already knew what my you, question I'm was going to be. I'm just keeping it funky you with you. You already knew. What is with them? Stop it. The, Stop. A, Look, a, let a me. sister ain't going near a, a, a cocker spaniel too, too close. Let me explain something to y'all. I love y'all to death because they have such free spirit and and they sense of danger. They okay. have they have no sense of danger whatsoever. Maybe mm-hmm. it's because we grew up in the hood <laughs> and we know what danger is. You see it and you like, oh, don't go that way. Don't do that. Maybe it's something that God innately placed in black people that we run the other way when danger or we see some hey, dangerous man. situations and we're we like, nah, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. ain't supposed to be doing that, so I'm going to go this way. Whatever it is that they don't have, man, it's cr- I've seen so much. How you go up to a Jaguar? Here's my question. You don't have a, your phone don't have a Zoom on it? No, nah, she wanted the selfie. Okay. You know, you got to get close with the selfie. That okay. almost cost her her life. Her arm, <laughs> she had a big gash, I mean, a, a big open gash on here on her arm. It was wide. Uh, she going to need plenty of stitches for that. What is it with, the, let me ask y'all something. We all like to travel. If we all go back to Africa one day, are y'all going on them little safari Hell rides no. with the little open carts where you Hell go no. to Hell the, no. the Serengeti with the lions? And Do y'all remember the one, the one, the one video, or if y'all ever saw it, the one video with the one lady, they they let their kids out with the cheetahs and everything, and her here's, and her husband. Here's my thing. I probably would. You, Kevin, no. It's here's, lions out Kevin, there. Here's no. my thing, though. Here's my thing. Come on, bro. It's it's Africa. It's the but it's lions man. out there, though. Here, here's my thing. I'm not getting out. Lions ain't got no filter, though. Look, bro. <laughs> drive. If I see a lion coming, I'm like, yo, hit the gas, son. <laughs> all, these, all these videos I see of them, and they getting chased by elephants, chased by <laughs> rhinos, I'm chased never by getting lions. Out. But I, yeah, I, you know what? Even honestly, the car is getting chased. The elephant will chase your car. I'll probably go. Because it's huh. Africa. How many times are you going to go to Africa, man, and, and see that up close and personal? I, that's Africa. It's, a, it's the motherland. How many times you gonna see, go and see that? If I want to see an animal, your, I go to the zoo. The car can't. The car no, can't, can't be no opening in the car. It can't be a jeep. It it's got to be, be like no. They, they got ones with the open. The little. No, it's it's like got to be a car with doors. It got to be a regular. It got to be a regular car. I got to have doors and windows. I do it in a regular car. Do it in a regular car. I got to yeah. I got to have doors and windows. I'm not going. I'm not going in the jeep. But no, I'm not doing it. But I'm just saying, what you? Because they will. They'll snatch you out. Yeah. What? What? What makes you think these are not animals in the zoo? No. Why are you going that's up why to I a do live leopard? This is like, the jungle. That's why I do it because it's not the zoo. Like this is the animal in their natural habitat. But now this, th- there's a barrier there for a reason. Okay. <laughs> there's a reason that the barrier is there. Why? Because yeah. it's a jaguar. That's yeah. why. And it's still a wild animal. And he don't. Res- he he don't respect. He re- he don't. Answer probably, to nobody. He probably mad that he in that thing in the first place. He don't answer to nobody. Right. <laughs> he don't want to be out there and have you looking and gawking at him. He probably don't like that anyway. Right. And you jump, you jump. 
you went over the barrier on purpose to get a selfie with a jaguar. Not a not not a not a rabbit or a deer. You went in there with a jaguar. And didn't even come with no treats. None. You ain't she got was no, the treat. You was the treat. She was the you treat. You must at least throw him some food and over that, there or something. Uh, and that mm-hmm. Jaguar said, oh, you want a picture, huh? Okay. <laughs> I got you. I'm going to make you famous. <laughs> you want a picture, picture, huh? You, he, he, oh, 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 you want a selfie, <laughs> selfie. Okay. <laughs> you want to be famous, baby. <laughs> if, you, you. if you do that, I have no sympathy for you whatsoever, even if you die. Sorry. Stay your behind on the other side of the barrier where you're supposed to be. Who? D- I know who. I, I know. I was about to say, you know who do that. You know. You. I mean, do you really need a selfie that bad? Do you really, really need a selfie that bad? First question I ask, and you already do that. I mean, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to picture myself. I'm just trying to picture myself going to the zoo, right? Like what? You know, because at the Cleveland Zoo, the Cleveland Zoo is huge. Cleveland was off, off the chain. I've been there a few times with my kids. Yeah, I go to Cleveland Zoo. And you go to the enclosures where the lions are, or the pumas, or the cheetahs. I'm just trying to picture myself being at the lion at the lion cage, and saying, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hop this fence. I'm gonna go in there. Come on, man. And I'm gonna get a selfie with the lion. Come on, man. Uh, the, 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 the big it, it ain't enough money in the world to make you do that, is it? <laughs> At all, bro. <laughs> this, At all. This is a good thing, too. I just, I'm just i scrolling. I see that the zoo said the jaguar would not be put down, and it is not good. the animal's fault. Give the jaguar an award. Crossed. The jaguar should get extra stakes. <laughs> they literally said that. They said it is not the animal's fault when you cross a barrier. Nope. <laughs> it's not. That take a lot of heart right there, man. I'm going to go get this selfie That take quick. a lot of heart. Look at it. Look, look Here she go. She on the ground looking at Look at her arm. Look at her arm. The jaguar got it right there in her arm. Like, okay. Yeah. Stop all that dog on crying. <laughs> Stay up behind up out that barrier. Look at her arm. Yeah, that meat. Yeah. Got you got it. Yeah. Got that, her. that white Ooh. meat. Yeah. Got she got to get the staples. Them yeah. ain't stitches. Mm-mm. She that's, needs the staples. That's stapling. That's stapling <laughs> oh, your man. arm yeah. back together. Jaguar one human nothing. Good job, Jaguar. I, and I agree Ooh. with the zoo. It is not. It's not the Jaguar's fault that she decided to go into the into the into the barrier. Mm-mm. Like honestly, I, again, I'm trying to picture myself staying at the lion thing. Like you know what? I, hold on, Bay. Hold on. Here, I, I'm gonna, you and the kids stay here. I'm getting ready to go in with the lions. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm get this out. I'll be right back. What? No. I'm not. Man, listen. I'm not getting in with none of those animals. Me neither. I'm not getting in with the elephants. Nope. The giraffes. Nope. Nope. Those are still wild animals, and they still have wild animal instincts. A giraffe will lift that foot up, and you Man, get hit by that foot. It's, it's over with. Way. <laughs> over with. It's over with. That's why I'm getting ready to go science nerd on y'all. That's why lions hunt pretty much everything in the jungle. Or in the wild, except for elephants and giraffes, they only only a, a lions lions will hunt a giraffe only if they desperate and they really hungry. Because even the lions though, if that giraffe kicked me one good time, it's over, it's over with. with. I'm done. It's over with. Same with the elephants. I'm not getting. In I ain't messing with them. no elephant. <laughs> Ever How in much life. do an elephant weigh? About I, a, a ton? Too much. Two, a couple tons. <laughs> I've seen the I'm thing not, move cars. I'm bruh, not. I'm, I'm not, not getting in a display with a parrot, let alone a jaguar. Right. I'm not getting in with none of those wild animals. No. Did you ever see like when you go and you see the gorillas and all that, and the chimpanzees? Come on, man. man those things will rip you to shreds. Come on, man. I ain't polar bears. Big, big I ain't old mess, polar bears. I ain't man. messing with no gorillas. I'm not doing it, man. When they had the big male ones in them, nah, no. They all muscle like they. This lady went in on purpose with a jaguar. How stupid are you? I mean, I, I get good thing. Look, I'm glad you're alive, but I wouldn't have been sorry if you died. Sorry, I you can't. You bought that on yourself. Yeah, I wouldn't have been sad if you died. I'm glad you're alive though. Yeah, you're gonna learn today. <laughs> Seriously, she went in there on purpose. Again, I'm just, I'm just trying to put myself in that zone. Bay, watch the kids. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go good. Where you going? 
I'll be just going in to get a selfie with the line. I'll be right back. Don't worry about it. I, no, you, just, hey, you know what? Matter of fact, she said she was hungry. Go get some food. I'm going to get the selfie and I'll catch up to you. Mm, mm, I'll be right back. And then you got to take accountability. What are you teaching your kids? you teaching your kids to, that it's okay to a wild animal? She should be, be arrested. close to a wild animal? They she don't should be have arrested. Any boundaries. <laughs> they don't have any It's why the little kid touched Russell Westbrook at the <laughs> NBA basketball <laughs> game. Because yeah. they no, don't have any boundaries. Y'all need to back up off road, Russell. Y'all they, Back up off, bro. Who was that? It was Kyle Hurd. Man, you can't Russell touch Westbrook nobody, don't man. get it. You can't touch me like that. Oh. Don't touch me, period. Don't At touch all. Me. At all. Don't touch me. She, that lady should be arrested. She should be arrested for trespassing. And that definitely Because she could have grabbed her, her child. You could have grabbed she, I don't even know. She, I don't even know if she had a kid. She should be, she, well, she should be arrested off stupidity alone. Because now, now that you got to use, you got to use resources, which cost money to get you right, now they gotta call the ambulance out there. That's that's city resources, all that, because oh. you decided you was gonna jump in with a jaguar. They said they were gonna even put the jaguar down. No, they shouldn't. For what? He doing what he, he doing what he's supposed yeah. to do. You got I mean, close came, to me. Yeah, you I don't know you. You got that. close to me. You are not the trainers. You are not the people that feed me. I, I don't, don't know. know you. I don't know what you want. Yeah. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. I'm protecting my. I'm protecting my territory. This is me. I've been walking all around this enclosure, pissing and everything. This is me. I done yeah. mark. I done mark my territory. You are in my territory. I done mark this. He thought it was food. I guarantee oh, you he thought yeah. it was food. You didn't, he was like, oh, bet. Yeah. Oh, you didn't you didn't smell when I peed over there? Cause see, when I pee over there, that means this me right here. This me. Yeah. That when I pee over that spot, by the that means this my territory. So you shouldn't be coming over here. Like I, I do that for other Jaguars. So you a human, so I'm I he did what he's supposed to do. And she's lucky she didn't get, you know, her neck chunk because he clamped on your arm, neck. That's, took that arm off completely. Yeah, because he got her. He got her on the arm <laughs> good. Oh, that dog on crying and whining. Still <sighs> behind the little side. I mean, I'm just, I know I keep hard. I'm just like, what, what will possess you? that You can't want a selfie that bad, man. You can't. You cannot want a selfie that bad. With, like, you, boy, you, you really out for, you fishing for IG likes and, face, and Facebook likes? Hey, look at me. I took a selfie with the Jaguar. On the side note, uh, did you see the Powerball? It's like four hundred forty-eight million. So. I gotta have that. I should. I yeah, need to play that. Man, I need to play that. Don't let us win that, man. Yeah, <laughs> ain't nobody in the hood about to win that. But if they do, I'm going to get me some rims and a chain. Yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> four hundred forty-three million. First thing. First thing. First thing. I'm doing. I'm going right down to the ball. Like, uh, let me get that. Let me get that. Big old. I, no, we ain't even going to the, no, uh, the mall. We going, going to New York. You going, going to Jacob? We're going to a jeweler. We're not going to no mall. You going to New York <laughs> to Jacob? In Cleveland. <laughs> you going to New York to Jakey? Might as well go to Jacob. I might as well go to. New York. I'm hitting point. up Elliot Tuva. We going. We Who, going to New who York. is that? He he does he do all the rappers jewelry. We go in New York. Oh, That's so they ain't Jacob going. anymore. See, I'm it's not Elliot. Jake, Jacob. It's Elliot. Jacob, oh man. Yeah, or Jacob. I it's Elliot. Do, or I might do what Johnny Depp did. Buy his own. Buy my own island. Let What's me show you who Elliot. Could do that. I'm gonna say who is Elliot. I I knew he, well you know but I'm old so it used to be Jacob, you know. Nah, he was. Oh, so I don't tell you a lot of people got a lot of people got got a kick out and I was telling them I was telling y'all you know how I'm old enough to remember like when cable TV started and everything like that. A lot of people got a kick me. Telling you y'all reaction to that, like, oh, that's old. Hey, what yeah. you want from me, bro? Oh, you know, oh, and I and I and I and I might say this because I can't really afford that. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if I would. I'm not really a jewelry guy. I love jewelry, yeah. I I would I, I would now now now. Let me just say this. I don't know if I would have all the diamonds in it, but best believe with that kind of money. My watch game would be you, you, on, you, super you, on point. You, I could see you with a Brandon or an AP. I I love jewelry My until I got robbed on one day. <laughs> yeah. And then I stopped liking jewelry. I have yeah. not. Man, look. Back I when, I, when I was. I when I was. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not a. What was I? I was about 20 when it happened. I was. Mm-hmm. Man, I was. He made it, this for Cardi B. Now, it wasn't like this quality. It wasn't, it wasn't nothing like this. Ooh. It wasn't no. Three point five million dollar, <laughs> whatever, whatever. But I was dropping at least a good five, six hundred dollars on jewelry. So my dumb self, I had, I, I still at this point in time, I didn't have a car. This is how you know my priorities. Oh, yeah, you were so was, you was, you was Shut up, right Kev. Yeah, you shut up. Man. Don't worry about what I was doing back in the day. I was twenty. Brother Leave was on. The, he was on the bus shining. I was, I was on. I was. 
I was 20. I was still doing stupid things. Right. Mm-hmm. Still claiming stupid sets. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I I went across town to see this one girl. And, you know, I got off the bus. It's like 12, 1 o'clock at night. Oh, Ridge, I get man. off the bus. I'm on 140th and Kinsman. Oh, shoddy. Yeah. That's <laughs> what it's there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> off, off, off rip, off rip. So I li- I lived off 140th and Kinsman. So 140th is a long street. Oh, yeah. So I'm walking down. I mean, I'm shining earrings, watch, necklace, fresh J's, all that. Mm. Nothing, no money in my wallet. Credit cards maxed out, all that, but it didn't matter. I was shining, whatever. So I get like halfway down the street. Man, this dude came up out of one of these one of these cars. I know he seen me. He was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, got him." Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Came out, came up. Hey, fam. I turned around. Man, all I seen was the pistol in my face. I was like, that. "Damn!" And that's exactly what he said. Let me get that. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, okay. Here you go." Gave him my earrings. Gave him my chain. Took my J's. Oh, took my not the shoes. Yes, Phil. took the J's. Oh. Took the J's. Took the wallet. Told me, all right, now go ahead, get out. Which I'm thankful for, cause you know it yeah, was it was eleven, you. it was twelve o'clock at night. There was nobody on the street, yeah. and you know you hear gunshots in the hood. Don't nobody care. He could have ain't nobody you. looking outside. Like, yo, is somebody all right? I could have been laying there dead on the ground. Well, thank you, sir, for not killing Phil. Yeah, he, so he today, was like, go yeah. ahead, get out of here now. And I was mad. I ain't never ran so hard in my life. By the time I got home, it was rocks stuck in my feet and everything, oh, and all man. that. I ran. Clear. I was going to ask you. I don't know why I was going to ask you, but I was going to ask you, did you get the J's too? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he got the J's too. Yeah. It was all good just a week ago. It was all good. So, yeah, I, I'm i with you, Rich. I love jewelry, but I have not I, worn I, I jewelry just, since I I know when robbed. to tuck mine's in, though. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I know when it went like, when I'm in a certain, I'm going I'm to just tuck, tuck this, this in. in. <laughs> I, 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 I would be, quick. Click, click. My, my watch game would be on point if I had that much money. I would have every expensive watch you could, because I, 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 I only have a few vices that I like, you know, watches, hats, and cologne. That's really it. So in my, in my in those areas, I'd be set. I'd be good to go. I love shoes. I'm sorry. I, I love shoes. I might. I, I'd probably for the first time in my life buy a pair of Jordans if I had that much money. But I look, man. Look, I just bought a pair of Adidas on eBay, forty seven dollars, and I had them in my cart forever. I just waiting for the price to drop. And they finally You're dropped. Such a dad. Hey man, it be such like, a dad. Look, man, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> I bro. know. I know. Especially right now, you know, me and wife, you know, we trying to get a house. We trying to do all this, man. It's, mm-hmm. You're such a responsible young man. I'm I wasn't not. A, I, I, you know, I wasn't always like that. I made some bad financial decisions back in the day that still kind of with me right with me today. I made some Phil bad. ain't got no chitlins. He could be, he could be. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm single. I ain't got no kids. I ain't, <laughs> ain't got, got nothing. What? He ain't got nothing. no chitlins. <laughs> ain't got this one it, thing. You, I and, you and he can live a little I've bit. I've always wanted that I've never had, and that's some rims. I ain't never had. No rims on my car. I don't even know. Are yeah. rims still in? Do we still put rims on the car? I'm just like, even. I'm just, I can't imagine roll, rolling around in the streets of Cleveland because the streets are so trash. Yeah, yeah. are better. Though. Right. Like, man. I can't. Don't pull up with no 22s. Man. Oh, no. Definitely not. <laughs> wait, wait, not. This wait. ain't the year 2000. Wait, 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 wait. You get clown for 22s? Yes. You this, ain't, this ain't the year 2000. Yeah. Don't pull up. Don't man, put no 22s. You better 22s, put up with man. some sixes or better than that. Come on, <laughs> now. I'm going to look. I'm going to get a car. The next car I get, I'm going to get a car. It's probably gonna be some like an SUV or something like that. So I'm gonna, it's gonna have e- at least at least seventeen inch wheels on it. Oh uh, nah. I'm gonna go get some eighteens. I'm gonna be cool with that. If I get an <laughs> SUV, I'm pulling up with twenty sixes nah, already. Nah, already. If I had that type of money, oh, please, if I had that type of money, yeah, please, that's different. But please. the money I got now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if I get a car with some seventeens, I'm gonna go one inch bigger for some eighteens, and I'm gonna be cool with that. You can the, laugh if you want to, and I'll be all right though. The most I'm gonna get right now is the black on black wheels with the. the Chrome's, that's about you know it. what I just you know what I just found because I'm looking at you know me I'm I, I like you know look my my car ain't much but it's mine so I, I was thinking, looking at ways to maybe you know make it look a little bit better so I'm like you know what I really like I had to, I used to have this Chevy Malibu back in the day and I had white leather tires I still had hubcaps but I had like the dark gray hubcaps yeah and the I white walls and white leather the white leather tires they were BF Goodrich but it was white leather so they had the BF Goodrich and it looked dope it was a black Malibu with 
the 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 um the hubcaps. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking still, about. They're still the black Malibu is like a, it's a 2003 Malibu. Think about that Chevy Malibu 2003. I had the the hubcaps were gunmetal gray, and then I had the tires with the white letters. It looked dope, especially when I when I after I washed it and I would get the bleach white and clean off the white letters so that the white letters stay nice and white. It looked dope. So I'm like, man, you know what? I, I like to get some of those tires on my car now. No, I can't but get I'm, you a new car. Well, I'm going to get a new car, but no, not yet until we get to the house. But anyway, <laughs> but once, once I get a new car, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I should get some new tires. So I'm looking at white leather tires. Man, them joints are expensive. For white leather tires? So I'm like, yo, how, why can I? I found, man, you can. there's companies that sell white leather packets. They're raised white leather kits. And you can get regular black tires and put and have these kits put on your tires. Mm, no, but you can have it anything. So, like, let's say you have you drive a Corolla, Phil. You can get it where it says Toyota Corolla. One can say Toyota, the other can say Corolla on the wheel. And 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 I can't front. It looked pretty dope. Just go to eBay, the white letter tire kit. I was sitting here trying. You said these things are expensive. I want to see how expensive they are. Depends on depends on what size you get. White letter tires. It depends on what size you are getting. What well, listen, you got to think about what's expensive to me as a dad. But yeah, <laughs> think about what's expensive to me as, as a father with kids and all that kind of stuff and all that. Just think about what's expensive hey, hey, to look, me. Hey, look, I ain't going to lie. Tires are expensive. They are. Period. I, yeah. I, need, I needed Period. three new tires, and everybody was like seven, $800. I was looking at people like, I paid, a, I paid 100 bucks for two used tires. Ugh. Two used tires, I paid $100. Well, they say if you go to like Sam's Club or Walmart, you know, you get them. I gotta get a, a a membership. I don't have a membership to Sam's Club. You know, no. you know, you can get a uh, go to Costco, right? And uh, get tires. Yeah, they sell tires at Costco. Yeah, they sell oh, everything get at Costco. How about I remember one time, one day, man, me and my wife, we driving down two seventy one. You know, they got that Costco right there uh, on Mayfield, right, yeah. right, right over there. So we, you know, we actually we was over in that area. And I needed, she needed to get gas. So we go by the Costco. It was like. A dollar eighty nine. This is when gas was still like two sixty two seventy. We're like, what? A dollar eighty nine? We pull up in Costco, man. We tried. I'm like, how do I get the gas? And I'm trying to get the gas. No membership. Can't get it. <laughs> you got to get up out of here, man. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it's real like that. But yeah, you go to eBay, man. White letter tire kits they sell on eBay. I just bought some off of eBay. What a photo booth. I, listen, I, that's where I get all my I get all my shoes from eBay. I don't go I don't go to the store anymore. I go to eBay, and I get yeah. shoes and I put them. I, I just got a pair of uh, Adidas. Let me see if I got. It. I just got a pair of Adidas, and they're like, they got shoestrings on them, but they the top of them is kind of like, it's it's kind of hard to explain. Here's my question. You said you never owned a pair of Jordans in your life? Never in my life. These. This, I just got these on eBay. Okay. I like those. Well, let me see. You've never owned. Never. Never. Ever. Ever. The most the most expensive pair of shoes that I've ever bought in 43 years on this planet, and basically in 30 years since I've been making my own money, I bought a pair of Nikes. I've lived in Detroit. I don't even know what whose shoes they were. They were white, yellow, and black. They cost me ninety eight dollars. This was probably in nineteen ninety nine. They cost me ninety eight dollars. That is the most expensive pair of uh, shoes I've ever bought. You've never life. spent two hundred dollars on a shoe? No. Yeah, I've spent uh, one hundred ninety on my Griffies up in Boston. No. What? Never. I've wow. Spent fifty dollars on a pair. Of For shoes. real. Four hundred and fifty. <laughs> I've never had a pair of Jordans. I've never had a pair of Lebron. Rich, what pair of shoes was four hundred and fifty dollars? It was some Gators. I was about to say. I was about to say. I was about to say. If you say anything other than some Gators, it's gotta be something like that. But see, but this, I, this is me. To me, I'm fine with that. As you know, what I'm saying like that. that, that, that those shoes will go with a lot, especially when, because you know what I do is I get I buy shoes now and I kind of just I like what I'll do with these is I'll like I'll, I'll put spray the the, the, the protectant on them, the Kiwi protectant. And I put them back in the box, and I wait till the weather get nicer. And then when the weather get nicer, then I break them out. Oh yeah, and I'm and I'm, do that. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm I'm at the stage now where if I, I if it was it, it maybe if I was single like Phil, maybe I would buy a pair of Jordans. Just one. I might just maybe one day I'll just do it one time just to know what it's like to have a pair of Jordans. Shoes ain't got to match your outfit, kid. 
these will match a lot of stuff that I wear. You ain't got like the red and the yellow joints and no. the, the blue joints and the, the these DI these these shoes are, are pretty much neutral. <laughs> these will match a lot of stuff that I got. I could I could wear black. I could wear tan. I could wear a lot of stuff with these. Clean I just clean. can't believe you have never owned a pair of Jordans ever. I got, never. I got three pairs of Jordans. <laughs> I've no. I've never owned a pair of Jordans. And I got three pairs of LeBron. I li- and, and there. I, I like, ain't never owned a pair of LeBron. I ain't either because I always thought they was ugly. <laughs> I ain't never owned a pair. And, of LeBron. And, and I I'm ugly. a fan of Jordans. I lo- I love the fours, the nines, and the thirteens are probably my three favorite ones. The fours, the nines, and the thirteens. I need some Kyrie's. That's I saw what I, need. I saw a pair of all a, a pair of wheat colored thirteens and Johnsons. Pardon me, I'm Johnson. Fire. But they cost like a hundred seventy dollars. Yeah, I can't that's do a it. Bill. That's a bill. I that's a bill. That's a bill. I that's understand. that's a bill for me. That's you know what I'm saying. That's like that's the sprint bill. That's that's something. That is a bill for me. And and it's just it's just that that's why I always tell young young people that I know. Because of Brian Brian. See, K-E? see what I'm saying? I see you. Though. You got kind of dope right there. But see, I'm. I got a really like those shoes I put I put on I posted in that post in the circle yeah. that you said was trash. I'm not I'm like what are you talking about? Those shoes are, what? Those shoes are fire. Reg, maybe I should add, maybe I should add Reg to the circle. I don't know. <laughs> There'd be some stuff going down in there, man. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some, some real stuff, live man. stuff. Be some stuff going on in the circle. But anyway, like for me, I, I like a pair. I don't I don't like real bright color. Like I, that. That joint fire. See, I can't I wear it. That. I love that. I I, I've had one I pair like of that was that was all one color, and I'm like, oh, eh. Yeah. You know what? You got to download this uh, stock, the uh, stocks app. You know, with shoes and everything. Oh, okay. For the coat, for the couture. Oh, okay. Now, see those Jordans too. I like the uh, what 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 I don't know what 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 which one what number are those? What number are those Jordans? The Jordan Six. Okay, so the Jordan Six I like too. I love the Jordan Six. But look at the price: two hundred nineteen dollars. Nah, you can bid on these. Too, I can't man. do it. I can't do it. What's the name of that app? Stocks. Stock. S T O C K X. Oh, okay, because I'm getting ready to download it now. Uh, yeah, I've never owned a pair of Jordans in my life. They got phone. Po- I want a pair of phone posses. <laughs> can I just say this? I never, I never even, even when the Air Force Ones was, I never bought a pair of Air Force Ones. Never bought a pair of Air Force Ones. Oh, stop yeah, it. Stop Whoa, it. Stop it. You ain't never had a, a pair of low tops oh, or high tops, all white the Air Force Ones. all Force. whites? No, I, oh, I would never buy a pair of all white shoes. What? No. 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 <laughs> Hand me your black man <laughs> card. Hand me your, your black man <laughs> card right <laughs> now. Hand me your black man card right now. It's been a long time since I had a pair of all you white shoes. You mean to tell me? Let me explain something to y'all. I don't know if the kids do kids still wear these things. Yeah. I don't, okay, so y'all know there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that is as clean as a pair of all white forces with when they first tea. come out the with, box with the white tee. <laughs> I Boy, know. I I'm just saying. Them. Oh my <laughs> god, them things was fine. I'm just saying. I know. For some reason, man, I, I have had a pair of all white shoes. It's been a long, long time. For some reason, man, the dirt just find them, man. They the dirt they just do. find they, them. They all white. And and I, they they, they want hit wonders. And yeah. I don't write. <laughs> and that's <laughs> why you spend a Sunday, you know, night. No, I don't feel like doing playing, all that, man. I don't feel like doing all that. This is what I, this is, and this is what people, people tend to forget no, no, about all like white. All, all white forces are for special occasions yeah. only. Yeah. That's when yeah. you want to yeah. look good. Yeah. Because then you take, as soon as you get home, you take those boys off and you put them back in the box because they... They will literally get any any speck of dirt anywhere can, will what, find what, it. What can I say, man? Maybe it's my age. Maybe I'm just practical. I'm more practical. I don't know, man. I've I've never I never went when the Air Force. I never bought a pair of Air Force One. I had at least twenty pair of all white Air Force because yeah, they would never just a pair of as soon as they got dirty, you was just like uh uh-uh, uh. Nah, so no Jordans, no I'm Air Force Ones, mm-hmm. no bronze. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, Air Max. I've never. I have, I've had Air Max. Oh, I've, I've had Air Max. <laughs> I'm not, really about to say Air <laughs> Show over. Cut the show off. Cut it off. Not, we ain't not, doing this no more. I, but I've never had my favorite Air Max, which is the Air Max 95, because they cost a hell of a lot of money. Have a lot that's of money. the wave right now. you got to have yeah. Air Max 95s right now. They're like 150 at least. Oh, that's not they're bad. 175. That's, that's not, not bad. bad. No, it ain't. That's okay. not bad. It ain't. Go, go ahead and congratulations to you for not so being able to look at that and say that's not bad. <laughs> 
But yeah, I, I've had plenty of Air Max, plenty of Air Max. But just like the more uh, on the, uh, but the Air Max ninety five are my favorites. One day, one day, man, I'll splurge. One day, I'll splurge. Yeah, I maybe mean, you can go to the Nike outlet. You know, Nike outlet got some good deals. They never, they never had those things in my size, man. I wear thirteen. They never have them in my size. You gotta look, ugly you, as that. You gotta look hard, bro. I will try. All right, man. That's gonna do it for us. I think I still got my black card. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, not after that Air Force <laughs> One comment. No, no. I have to try to earn it back, man. I try to earn it back. All right, man. So we're gonna get out of here. Me and my forty-seven dollar Adidas. We, you know, we get out of here. <laughs> they, they're still in the box. Though. Wait, the wait, box. wait, wait. Before we my go, my father just like him though. B- before we shout go, out, shout out, shout what? out, pops. I gotta ask you one more thing before okay. we leave. Have you ever had a pair of Timberlands? Better not say Wheat. no, Kev. Butters. Kev, please. Actual Timberlands? No. Butters. Oh! oh! Nope. <laughs> nope. Cut the show off. <laughs> Cut it off. <laughs> Cut all of it off. Oh, hell no. That, wait, the, you know, back when they was popular, I had loves. Did that count? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got to oh, have the construction no. wheat Tims, oh, man. Oh, you got to feel oh, the power of the construction oh, wheat Tims. I nope. Man, sign us off, man. Listen, man. <laughs> hey, no, man. ain't no explanation. Just go ahead <laughs> and sign us off. <laughs> All right, well, um, <laughs> my bre- my black card been officially So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and go find some white folks somewhere and <laughs> kick with them. All right, man, we're going to get out of here. Hey, uh, once again, hey, meet you, Johnson, man. Stay up. Stay up, man. Yes, Come sir. back healthy. Yes, sir. Uh, so we can get out of here for Eli Robinson, uh, for Phil. I forgot his name. Phil Rucker <laughs> for Reggie Logan. My name is Kevin Hanley, man. I'm Timberland List, and I'm Air Force One List. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Eli, take us out. All right. The name of the song is called Legacy by Mickey Mott's Beats. This is the Quad Brothers Sports Show on One Unit Media Network. The Quad? I'm going to go buy some Tims right now. (laughs) 